Uh, we live? Uh, we live? Seems good. Okay, let's play some Terraria. Uh, I haven't touched the Labor of Love update yet because I thought it might be good to do some reaction to it on stream. But, uh, I was gonna go over the patch notes, but frankly, they're a bit too long. A, a little bit long. <laughs> Uh, and it might be better if some of it is a surprise, but what I did think we might do today is start a game with the Remix Wild Seed. Uh, so, uh, this is vanilla Terraria, I don't have Tmod loader loaded, uh, and we're just gonna dive into it. New character, classic, let's go, uh... Remix Arena and give me some kind of character. Where where do I go for the character randomization? Here we go. Give me something a little different. That's like my last character. Uh, this is fine. Where is it? Here we go. And what was the name of that seed? Uh, let's see. Seed is Remix. Uh, large world, master, and go. Hold up, we starting over. I really want to dive into the new, the new stuff at least a little bit. Damsel, D hose, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, so this world seed is a little bit different. Just, just a, just a little bit from from the normal world gen. Uh, I have avoided learning too much about it. Um, what I know is about everything you're gonna figure out in the first ten seconds. And here we go. Here we go. Oh. Um, where is it? Huh? Didn't I just generate something called Remix? Hello? What happened? Evil Plur? Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. The Cosmos, cosmos of Horror, indeed. Um, oh, wait. That wasn't... That was the seed. That wasn't the name of it. Which one did I just generate? Okay, I recognize... Is this it? The Cranky Eye of Change? <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Well, we're going to find out pretty damn quick. This is definitely not it. Um, uh, let's see. Oh, created date is here. Uh, 4th of the 10th. Here it is. The Cranky Eye of Change. No, that, that's it. Did I get the seed wrong? Oh, we have loadouts? Oh, I love this. Oh my god. I'm already in love with this update. What the hell? Yes. A thousand times yes. We can have two classes and fishing to just flick through. With one click. Oh my goodness. But this is not the world seed. Um, let me just double check. 
added the remix world seed where da 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 R E M I X Capital R. I don't know if it capital matters with the world gen. The sleepy limbo of rats. Uh is it because I changed the size after I put in the seed? The seed doesn't seem to change if I do this. Remix. Submit. Uh, remix it. Let's go. Create. Dude, the loadouts, right? The cranky one was generated today, indeed. Clouds are nice and soft. You won't get hurt falling on them, no matter how far you fall. I didn't know that. I mean, by the time you can harvest a cloud to set up a little safe landing area, you've probably got wings or something. Well, there's a good chance you have wings already. Okay. Remix it. It's not working. Uh, let me drop the capital letter, and if that doesn't work, I don't know, I guess we'll just... Try a normal playthrough. The country of truffles. Um. Okay. I googled it and DM'd. Okay, thank you. Uh Oh, okay. So it's not it's not remix that is the world seed. And I can't cancel this until it's done. Fantastic. Thanks, Damsel. Of course I have to generate a large world, so we're stuck with this for a few more seconds. Have some NPCs perished? Don't worry, they'll be back in the morning. Except they come back with different names. Uh, okay, so this is our seed. Uh... There we go. Large master, random, and there's our seed. Whoa, okay, <laughs> I think it's working. <laughs> I, th I think the seed is working, guys. Do you think it's working this time? This is my favorite track in Terraria. I am the sky. Good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What's about that seed? Uh, you'll see. You'll know about as much as I know about it in uh, about five seconds after the world generates. Is this the upside down seed? Uh. Wait, is this different from the one I'm thinking of? It might actually be. We could do this instead. I haven't done this seed either, if it's what I'm thinking of. Disarming broken traps. Wait, what? This one is titled Remix, I don't know, okay. Uh, it was the country of truffles, right? 
No, it's... I, I like to be under the seed. Here we go. Fantastic. Oh, wow. I... The way the world, the background zooms different from the world feels weird. Let's get to cutting wood, I guess. That is a lava slime. That looks cool. Yes, it does. Um, 75 health. Yeah, I don't think... Uh, I don't think we're prepared for this. Uh-oh, they're coming from both ways. I think our strategy is going to be to jump over on the right side. Oh, hello. hello. Can he handle that one for us? Okay. We already have two silver. But can we survive? I need to use uh, our friend here as a... Oh, no, 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 no. Ow. Okay, that's not as bad as I thought. Ah, uh, jump, 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 jump. All right, yeah, uh, nope. Okay. They're not as quite as deadly as I thought they'd be, but I might have to jezball it, as one streamer describes it. Give me some more wood. This'll do for now. I'm going to put wood in slot four so I know where to reach it. We're off to a great start here. I'm... I kind of want to kill that, but like... It'll probably take me three hits. Let's wait for health to regenerate a tad more. I didn't think it would turn around again like that. I can keep it on the screen till we get full health. Starting right next to lava butterflies, that's kind of neat. Alright, come here you. Oh wow, more than I thought. Okay, let's start building a town. We're gonna need it. Oh, I don't have a grappling hook. It feels weird to see hell butterflies and have no grappling hook. Um, yeah, I think a little bit elevated off the ground would probably be a good idea. Um, let's get some housing going. Start with the standard NPC slum. I mean, uh, budget housing. And let me just update the title real quick. Uh, what's the seed called again? Don't dig up. Okay. Uh, we got 94 wood. We should... Be... What kind of wood is this? Ash wood. Neat. We can make an 8 damage sword. And it's... I think it's the same as regular wood as far as the stats go. Uh, maybe you have a set bonus. 50... 75 wood to make uh, an armor set. I'll finish this house first. Ashwood wall. Whoa, that was faster than expected. I actually like that. Oh, I heard the stack sizes are massive now. Can we have light? I have gel. Oh yeah, yeah, we do have... we can make torches. All right. Um, Ashwood Lantern. Okay, I actually have to kind of have to see that. That looks neat. I like that. Uh, Ashwood chair. Is this housing suitable? It is. And for some reason, we have the tax collector to start with, not the guide. I love how the, uh, like, three times the Terraria devs are like, okay, we're done, but really we're done this time, promise? Yeah. 
Uh, they've done like a smoker. Uh oh. All right, can I? No, 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 no. I'm playing with fire here. No pun intended. I'd like to make a couple of shacks, preferably the same size. Did I happen to get that without measuring? I do wish there was a shortcut key for the ruler. I don't suppose they added that. It's very finicky finding the two pixels to click on. Um, yeah, this looks the same as always. Alright, so we got uh, 12 by 6, 10 by 6. And this goes here. Give us a, ch a chair, I was going to say. Where's the chair? There we go. And then I missed it. Okay. Uh, Ashwood Wall. We can make them faster than we can place them. Oh, I should have left room for... Uh, for a pylon eventually. But whatever. This, this is functional for the moment. You can measure? Yeah, uh, just click on this thing here. Ruler. Okay. Uh, that's above our jumping height, right? It is. Let me just... Uh, could you move, please? Oh, you can place behind? No? Oh, okay, 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 okay. No, 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 that's even worse. No, 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 no. You know what? Let's explore. Why not? Probably because we have no armor. Normally I wouldn't bother with wood armor, but I'm feeling particularly naked down here. Um, that's bad. That's ungood. Uh, they will pass over us at least a little bit. But I think they'll turn around. Let me up. Sorry about that. Okay, so we want like just enough tiles here so that we can jump up. Now then, I see glowing mushroom biome directly above us. I don't think we can make armor out of glowing mushrooms, but then who knows? How much wood do we have? 57. Let's make a sword first. Annoying copper short sword. Perfect. Best starting item we could possibly hope for. A massive pickaxe isn't damaged, really? Okay, that's better. Oh, can I? S I can't sell to the tax collector, can I? Wow, we got one silver. I, I don't know who he's collecting taxes from. Um, I guess we're exploiting someone abroad. What is that? Ashwood fence. Looks weird. Uh, give me some armor. Give me a bow. We Not that we can make arrows, even, because there's no stone. I think it's all ash below us. So we need to either rope ourselves up, which might be the way to go. Actually, I think it is. Uh, I was going to say, or we need to go left and right, but who knows how far we're going to have to go before we find something in the world gen. I should have put rope here before.
Okay. Ropey rope. I guess our elevator is starting from the bottom going up. What is that? That looks weird. No, 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 I didn't want to kill a butterfly. Oh. Hey, we got stone. We've got stone. We can make arrows. I feel the need to make some arrows. Uh, that is 75. Fantastic. We're going to put our gel here. Uh, let's put our armor on. Let's get some more wood before we go. Jimbo Panda. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. How are you? What happened to the Calamity playthrough? I just really wanted to see what the, uh, what the new version stuff would be like. Uh without learning about it off-stream. Um, I hear a zombie. That's... that's progress. Alright. How many arrows does it take? Way too many. Jump over me. No, ow, ow. Okay. We've managed to kill two slimes. Two slimes at once, even. Pomegranate. Ma minor improvements to stats, life regen, five minutes. Oh, is that just... Was that already in the game? I don't remember. I mean, food items like it, we've seen before. Just started a For the Worthy seed myself. Super rough so far. Yeah, I was going to do For the Worthy after Calamity, actually. Um, uh, I'm probably going to be doing one day of Terraria a week for a while, but I did want to continue with it uh, indefinitely. Oh, what's this? Ash Grass Seeds. Uh, that's not that exciting, actually. Um... Yeah, I was going to do For the Worthy, but uh, I, I was also going to continue with Calamity until it was done, but this popped up and I really wanted to give it a try and thought it would be good to not hide my reactions to it off stream. Alright, can we stop depending on rope for a little while? Whoops. Let's head over this way. Holy moly, what seed are you using? Uh, it is called Don't Dig Up. Except that's what we are doing. Um, so yeah, we start in the underworld. And the underworld is kind of different. Or at least this part of it is. And here we are in my favorite biome. Or at least... It's my favorite biome, but it looks a bit different, the background. Oh, this is... I think this is just... what some of the hellish background looks like with glowing mushroom around. Give me all the glowing mushrooms. I don't know how good they're gonna... how useful they're gonna be in and of themselves. Uh, so early in the game, though. Um, we can't use them for health. Uh, I, I just had the inst- Oh, wow, Fallen Star. Okay, so I didn't think to ask that question, but that answers it. How we're gonna get, uh, our mana boosted before we get to the surface. I don't usually bother trying to play any kind of mage character until we're fairly strong already. Uh, and then at that point, it's actually, believe it or not, if you want the earliest uh, possible Duke Fish run kill, I think uh, the media armor is actually the best you can get for a while. 
We've got blink root. Yes. Why can't I zoom? Oh, the default keys. That's weird. I don't remember changing the keys. Wait. My shortcut keys... My, my keys for the hotbar is still the same, but... We're back to default keys for zoom. That's a little... Oh, we got mushroom torches. I love this. That looks nice. Do we have some more rope? We do. Uh, we need some coils. Give me some coils. Mushroom campfire? Ah! What is that? No. Red slime? Oh, it's a red slime holding a star. It looks so weird. I thought we were under attack by a star creature. Uh, good aim. There we go. There's another fallen star. We're not going to have too much trouble uh, gaining enough stars, I think. Let's put a rope here. I said rope. There we go. No, bad. Uh, there we go. Um, I don't have a grenade or anything. Can this guy jump up here? I hope not. No, I think... I think he's too confused by this terrain. <laughs> well, that was easy. Didn't get anything, though. Uh, let's rope coil up this way. Fantastic. Out. Nope. Nope. Bad. Oh, I haven't made armor yet. What am I doing? Let's go back and increase our defense by three hull points. And preferably without letting a zombie visit. Uh, what have I got? 70 ash wood. Is that star moving around? Indeed. Um, I think it's just the same mechanic as slimes occasionally carrying stuff, but now they can carry stars. I don't know. I, I imagine it's just on this seed. Reduces damage from touching lava. That is a very good set bonus for a starting item, uh, for, for a starting material, but, well, now I, now I do want to see, uh, this is so dodgy if I go over this way, I don't have any potions of return. Uh, I want to explore left and right from spawn, but... But it's a bit sketchy until we can at least teleport home. Okay, 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 okay. There we go. It feels weird being back to, like, practically zero mobility. Oh, I didn't even know that slime was there. I thought I saw a little bit of movement, but, um... I didn't actually know there was something here. There's some lava. I don't think it would be a good idea to go out of our way to test our uh, armor set. Uh, where's our rope coils? Oh, we just barely reached that. And how about a platform here? Always swing our sword, because we can't see the enemy. Uh, give me a little rope action here. Fantastic. Should probably make some flaming arrows, so at least I can see a bit better when I fire them. Uh, can we make some more arrows? I should have some stone. Yeah, we do. All of it. 
And since we've got, uh, I'm, I might even make jester arrows. Yeah, why not? Let's indulge. That'll light the place up a bit. Alright, so we got lava. And we got... We got green. Alright. Uh, how about we make a bridge, actually, before this worm bumps us into the lava? rope. Let's go up this way. And get a torch up here. I want to jump that, but I don't want to jump that, actually. Okay. We got grass. Oh, I should really be getting my blink root farm started, uh, because that can be really, really, really slow to get going. Whoops. We do have some dirt. Oh, we could grow it in mud as well. Another star. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Uh, let's see how effective it takes, like, half, more than half of, oops, well, that was even net negative. If we aim well, it takes, like, half of a fallen star of Jester arrows to kill one of those, but I'm not going to use, um, I'm not going to use arrows all the time. If I need to use arrows, I want them to be about as strong as we can manage at the time. Okay. Give me that money. Uh, what are we doing? Oh yeah, some dirt to grow our blink root in. Fantastic. We got heals. What is the purpose of Blinkroot Farm? Uh, there's just lots of potions that rely on Blinkroot. And because uh, Blinkroot is the one uh, the, the one uh, farmable potion ingredient that you're never going to come back to the farm and find all of the blink root blooming. They just individually bloom at random. Uh, so to get more seeds can be pretty arduous. To, to get the first few blink root seeds can be pretty arduous since I don't remember what version that ha first happened. Uh, so the fact that we found it already it was pretty lu uh, pretty lucky. Yeah, so the sooner we start, uh, the sooner we get them to a critical mass, the better. My kingdom for a shine potion. And a mining potion. The, uh, the regular torches always looked out of place in the glowing mushroom biome, so I'm really glad they added these. I also just like the relaxing blue light. What do we got here? Stone. Let me put this over here. Oh, hello. Our star slimes are revealing the whole area above us. 
And we're digging up into water. That's nice. Even better, thank you, Mr. Torch Zombie. Alright, uh, I think there's... Oops! Wait, are we draining the whole thing? No, we found a little other bit of water. Okay. I thought I was being a bit careful about that. Is this our first metal? It is. We got lead. I can't help but think of oxygen in not included and think, score, we've got refined metal. I find myself looking forward to owning more now that we're at the point. Oh, we got a merchant. Um, which is good because I need to sell a few things in the relatively near future. We got something down here. Not much, really. Wait, what is that? Oh, that's just a bit of... I think that's a, a yellow mushroom. Next to a weird bit of background wall. Yeah, it is. So I guess this biome probably counts as forest? I don't know. Unless they added a underworld pylon? I wonder where you find the guide, right? Unless there is no guide? No, that would be a bit cruel. Uh, even veteran players could use the guide. Uh-oh. Um, oh, this is a bad idea, actually. Oh, no. Oh, no. Need to do timing here. Random sword swings aren't going to cut it. Okay. Uh, that was a mistake. Oh, I forgot I did have a heal, although I don't have a potion to get home. Uh, it, so far it feels like that zombie can't quite reach us. That was spooky, though. Uh, so far it feels like we're not going to find potions of return. They're normally a lot more abundant. We might just be unlucky, though. Finding regular trees down here feels weird. Alright, we got tin. Uh, I guess the set bonus is not that exciting. Once we can get any kind of armor. I mean, tin is probably... It's probably not worth gaining one or two defense to lose lava damage reduction, but that's a slime. Sneaky. Ow. Maybe I'll just use arrows here. Oops. That was needless. Uh, can I make a rip coil out of here? Not really, that was dumb. Uh, that's not what I meant to do. Okay, can we jump up that high? Not really. Uh, I could make web rope. Let's do that. Thankfully, we don't need much web to make web rope. Ooh, there's our first chest. Uh, rope coil. Hopefully nothing's sneaking up on me. That is a pretty open area. 
I worry that bats are coming. Uh, we actually have shoe spikes when they feel relevant. I haven't seen a single trap yet. Uh, I'm pretty sure if there's grass, we can be confident there's no trap. But I could be wrong about that. Who knows with this seed. Let me, let me through. Random sunflower under the ground. There's something coming. It's another red slime. This is very spoopy indeed. These potions are found in chests only. Which potions? Uh, these potions? Those potions? What? Return potions. Oh, yeah. Oh, really? I never noticed. I always just found way more return potions than I needed. Um, but yeah, I guess we haven't seen any, uh, like, brown chests so far. These slimes kind of have me pinned. If I run past them, get on the mine track. Uh, that's a life crystal. It's a little risky, but I don't feel like just digging away from it. Fantastic. Oh, I ran out of mushroom. Uh, mushroom torches. Oh, there's a bo- Oh, Wow. Well, there's our traps, and an arrow one-shot us. I even reacted to it pretty well. I jumped in time, or rather, I jumped pretty quickly, and I don't think it was possible to avoid it. Uh, but yeah, there's, uh... I don't know when they added... Minecart tracks used to be a safe haven from traps. Not anymore. Poovim, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oh, we got silver bars. Uh, all usernames are taken. <laughs> welcome, welcome also. Um, I guess I should replant some trees. There's no room for them. Uh, or at least not with auto-placement. Until I remove some of this. Auto-placement will put them just far enough apart that they don't block each other from spawning. Where are my acorns? Okay. Uh, I just tried to dash. Whoa, that was quick. Tree explosion. Is the merchant selling anything I need? Yes, definitely. Uh, why can't I... Here we go. Um, cavern pylon. How much gold do we have? Uh, zero? What? There's no way we have zero gold. Where's my money? Huh? Uh, wooden arrow. Apparently... Oh, it's all up here, isn't it? I forgot. Uh, 42 silver is what we've got. Uh, so we're way off getting the pylon, but we could have got the bug net. But I'm pretty sure... We need a molten bug net um, to catch any of this stuff. Except for the... Well... The bug net would pay for itself pretty damn fast, because we'll be catching gem critters all the time. Uh, I don't suppose I can sell something worth 25 silver. 
Uh, only if you count the silver bars. Um, yeah, I don't really want to be... Oh, what about the tax collector? Ten silver. Fifty silver for an iron anvil. Uh, can I make a furnace yet? I've got stone, I've got torches. Uh... That's it, right? Stone and torches. Do I need more torches? Where's my wood? Oh, did I spend literally all my wood earlier? I might have done. I really want the guide to critic companionship. Actually, I feel like that should just be... Not taking up an inventory slot, it would be nice if, like, the Torch God, uh, it was just something you could toggle later on. Uh, okay, what was I doing? Oh yeah, torches, in case we need more for a furnace. There it is. It's... Oh, it needs a little bit of wood, weirdly enough. And what can we smelt? Tin and lead. I need a chest. Luckily, we have one. And I'm going to buy an anvil since metal is so precious. Um, okay. I'll hold on to the stone. Oh yeah, stuff stacks really high now, right? So, stuff that we're going to pick up anyway, there's no real need to... Uh, just stash it away just yet. Bombs are going to be handy. I don't... I could probably sell the ash grass seeds for a whopping one silver. Uh, pomegranate. Probably should have eaten that, huh? Oh, we have a rope coil. That would have been handy. Mushrooms can be used as blocks as well. Uh, and I'll put these here. Okay. Up we go. I guess it's this way. Yeah, I think I'll go get our money back. And... That, that arrow did 111 damage, right? So if I'd been at full health, I would have just barely tanked it. But I think it poisons you as well, so... I would have had to hit health potion immediately. Okay, I guess live and let live with that slime. Uh, let's get a light in here. There we go. And that's not what I meant to do. Thank you, climbing claws. Uh, I think this slime has all of our money. Come back here. Don't have time. Okay, here we go. Let's use the old underwater trick. Kill these slimes. Uh, I'm definitely feeling that Calamity makes our breath run out faster. 
looking at this. Uh, alright, this is a slime trap. Let's get out of here. Ow. Ow, holy crap. Okay, yellow slime, bad slime. Uh, I don't have a potion of return, otherwise I'd use it right now. Get out of here, dart trap. And another trap? Okay, that's clearly a boulder trap. Uh, I don't really have time to disarm it right now. Let's just find a little haven to dig ourselves into. Okay. 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 That's a goblin scout. Definitely wasn't expecting to see one of those down here. How tough are they? 240. Yeah, normally when you see a goblin scout, it's a weakling. Uh, like, by the time you see it, compared to you. But this is actually like a super zombie. Um, can we block swap? The lead ore? That seems good. I've only got six healing potions, so I'd rather not waste one in this situation. Can I get a light? There we go. Make sure we have a path of retreat. Uh, that's not a touch plate, even though it looks a little bit like it. Cobwebs are always welcome. I kind of want to get over there, but there's no real reason to. Um, what I'd really like to do is explore this rail. Just have to be careful about it. Uh, it is such a magnet for monsters, though, and all I have is wood. Hmm. Potion of return would be really nice right now. Uh, I guess we're digging. Maybe I should use the silver to make a pickaxe. Actually, is seven silver enough to make a sword? I think it probably is. Yeah, I think I should have gone for a sword. Defense would be nice, but being able to kill enemies fast enough so that they don't hit you is good as well. Maybe I could dig in such a way that... That we could lure the enemies into the water? Yes, it's already happening. As if responding to my idea. Once we reach a certain number of enemies on screen, we won't have any more spawning. So if we can trap them in the water, we'll be able to move around at our leisure. But I think we're going to have to go all the way over here to get the slimes to jump down. We don't want the slimes to be able to jump up here, though. That little, that one block there is saving us. What's this red dripping? Is it dripping? Is it a flower? It's a flower. Okay. Well, we got rid of the... We got rid of the slimes above us. Not to mention the zombie. Let's see if we can get away with... Daybloom! Uh, it's 4.30am right now, we just discovered. Because the daybloom literally just... 
uh, just started blooming. That's our clock. Day bloom is. Okay. Carefully. Carefully. I'd like to go back and get rid of that boulder trap, actually. Uh, pressure plate track. Hmm. If I swap the position of it, then it shouldn't work. Okay. I could just barely see the wire. Oh, that's the scout. No, thank you. Uh, we're going to use our little trick here to get get it out of the way. Make a little bridge here. Here, yeah, scouty, scouty, scouty. And if I just wait here, it should run left and right a bit further. How did you spot it was a trap? Uh, I drove past it earlier and I just saw, like, a little... A little bit sticking out up the top. Um, it was the same thing that killed us earlier. Let me fix... Ah, I need a door here, actually. That might be a good idea. I don't know if a goblin scout will knock down a door, actually. To a mushroom door. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have done this. Okay. Hopefully we find our salvation this way. Slowly. Slowly. And that's the end of the track, actually. Save me. That's a... That's not a touch plate, actually. Okay. Hanging here in the sky should be relatively safe. Uh, as soon as I spot one, I'll point it out. I do wish we could get torches to stick to the ceiling. That would be nice. Oh, we can do this. That's that's one way we can maintain our vision as we go through here. And that is a house. Uh, let me up through this side. Fantastic. Silver chandelier shows that we've been here. What's this? Father of someone. Okay. We have a strong mace. Hmm. I could upgrade it to sometimes add fire. We'll lose the knockback effect. But I think it's probably worth. We need a hundred torches. And we just got a regular vanilla flaming mace. But that's not bad. We didn't lose any damage or anything. There was a slime there. You sneak. Oh, this is so much better than our sword. Not just for the damage. Damage, reach, illumination. Oh, yes, please. Much better. That's a lot of lead compared to what we've had before. Uh, let's get ourselves a sticky bomb. And a couple of sticky bombs. Nice and quick and safe. 
not hanging around while something sneaks up on us. That's a demon altar. Uh, I would like that star. That's not going to hit it, is it? There we go. There we go. Gimme, gimme. Oh, and we're getting a bunch of enemies down below, which means our spawn rate up here is lower. This is a good spot. Is that a gem? It is. Uh, I think we need exactly one gem to theoretically start a farm. So... I want to head back, but at the same time... Oh, that's an amethyst. Amethyst sucks, but I won't... When I have no... Uh, when I have no grappling hook, I'm not going to complain about something we can turn into a grappling hook. Uh, that's not what I meant to do. There we go. And a yoink. Flare gun. Fantastic. Regen. Very nice. Um, could use some more jester arrows, I think. You can farm gems? Yeah. It's a little bit sketchy if we only have one of each gem uh, to try and get the farm started because... So basically you combine them with uh, acorns and it makes what's called a gem corn. And it'll grow a tree from stone uh, if you're deep enough underground, which is not that deep. Uh, and when you harvest the tree, there's a good chance it'll give you multiple uh, gem cones back, as well as a couple of gems. But it is possible we'll get no gem cones back at all. So ideally, I would like to have two or three of a type of gem before I start, before I put the time in to make a farm. Oh, oh crap, oh crap, oh no, oh no. Oh no. Heal. Hide. Okay. 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 That was pretty lucky with the terrain. And good thing Mace has good knockback. Uh, let's block this off. There we go. Robo Jumper. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, I feel like... I don't know, maybe there's more rail in this world, Jen. Maybe we've just been lucky. So we're, we're high enough to get uh, demon eyes, apparently. I think uh, we can safely say that none of the normal rules necessarily apply. Uh, we still don't have a single potion of return, so there's that. I'm, even now I'm not that concerned about tin. Are all of the chests going to be golden? Is this going to be like that uh, super super high luck stat run where the guy couldn't get basic resources? <laughs> okay. That could be a trap. I think it's a gem though. Yeah. Uh-oh. Gotcha. Nope. This is easier angle. Oops. I was looking up here. It's actually a bit of silver, I think. Uh, zombie. Could you? Could you not right now? Actually. 
You know what? Let me just go check out this chest instead. Oh, we have boots. Oh, that's nice. We already have boots. What is... That's a fairy. Okay. I was a little worried for a second there. Don't tell me it was about to show me the chest that I was already standing in front of. Ow, 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 ow. Sneaky. Okay, what are you showing me? Oh, a hut. Thank you so much. Boots, indeed. Yeah, having, uh, having boots this early feels nice. We don't even really have the terrain to care about boots yet. Not the running super fast part, anyway. Certainly, we care about what they upgrade into. That life crystal was actually pretty well hidden. Is that an enchanted sword? Surely not. Surely that's not an enchanted sword. That would be too strong. Uh, swiftness can go here. Okay, stars are actually super common. Uh, but purple slime is nothing to mess with right now. This could take a minute, but it's perfectly safe. Uh-oh. Taking a minute is not perfectly safe. Okay. Uh, go away, please. Okay. And it is not an enchanted sword. I didn't really think so. So now we have this little shortcut. Um, do I want to go back yet? I can start three gem farms in theory. Let's go do that. I also want to... Is that another ruby? It is not another ruby. Why is there water here? Oh, I see. actually can jump that. Uh, I can't be bothered getting that star. Okay, careful. Careful. How does the day and night cycle work this deep underground on this seed uh, regarding eye and zombie swans? We saw some day bloom bloom earlier. Here it is. There's some up here. Uh, could I maybe rope coil... Oh, I had a rope coil, actually. There we go. We've got more than enough day bloom to start a farm. Uh-oh. Oh, I messed up. Also, we got a little pause there. That was weird. Okay. Oh! I forgot about the traps, but I think we cleared them already. Yeah, we did. And I think I went too far, no? It's further to the left. Down here? Yeah, 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 this is our path. Well, this is one of our paths. Can I jump this? Not even close. Fantastic. Almost home. Never uh, picked this stuff up yet. 
Can I buy more flares now? I think I can. I think the merchant sells you flares if you have a flare gun. That's actually going to be super convenient at this stage. Uh, I don't have a way to mitigate fall damage, so let's head back this way. Ow! Ow! Sneaky red slime. Oh, no, 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 no. Extra sneaky red slime. That was a... That was a ninja assassin jump right there. The millisecond I had my guard down after the last fight. Okay. Good thing I had the 140 max health as well. Uh, so we'll need some stone to plant the trees in. Uh, yeah, we can buy flares. I'll go for blue flares. But first I have to make sure I can buy the bug net. And we'll be able to sell back those gem critters when they appear here. Morpheus Zhao, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. This looks different from Calamity. Yeah, it's uh, it's the new seed on the Labor of Love update. Good morning. Good morning to you. Rubber Band Rambo, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, so I want blue flares, I think. I, I meant to make sure that I would buy some stuff first. Uh, sickle just gives us hay, which gives us target dummy. I don't bother buying that except for like the moment that I need it. Um, I don't really feel like messing around with the piggy bank right now. Mining helmet might be nice. I don't even lose any defense. Four gold? We can't even afford it. Since when is it four gold? I don't think I could sell two gold worth of stuff. Uh, we've got plenty of potions now, at least. Okay. Uh, the anvil. That's what I wanted to buy off you, to save some metal. And... I think that's it, right? Let's just get infinite flares, and we've already got infinite arrows, I didn't mean to do that, whatever, it's fine. Uh, let's make them jester arrows, and I think that's all for buying and selling for now. Rip gem bunny? Uh-oh. Oh yeah, so we paid how much for the bug net? 25 silver, and we can sell this first bunny for 10. Yeah, it, this is going to pay for itself pretty damn quick down here. Unfortunately, we can't, uh, we can't catch the flaming critters. Oh, we got fireflies. Let's hurry up and get those. What the? Oh, those are lava flies. We can't catch the fireflies down here. No. Uh. It's a snail? Indeed it is. It is a magma snail. That's actually one of the best baits that you can get just randomly around the world. 35% uh, bait power. From the magma snail. Alright, this will do for the moment. I'm not going to spend too much time prettying it up when I don't have much resources or ability to build quickly or anything. Uh, where's that stone? Here we go. Alright, so we... Uh, that's just a squirrel. Okay. 
Uh, we take our... I don't think I have any acorns on me at the moment. Let's get some. We take our gems. We take our acorns. We put them together. And we get gem corns. And I think I just used up all of the acorns, or one acorn, I guess, that I had. I'd like to make a nice, long, flat area here. But first, let's get some more acorns. There's one. I need one, two, three. Two. What is this mod? This is actually vanilla. It's the Labor of Love update with the Don't Look Up seed. Ooh, pots. Alright, let's head back before we get trapped. Up. And a little bit of rope up here. Okay. Uh, Ruby is probably the best one. And we've got two of them. Alright, so we're going to put Ruby gem corns over here. Sapphire gem corn. Amethyst gem corn. And just like any other tree, it's going to randomly explode into existence uh, with a small chance every tick. It can literally happen the moment that you put it down. Um, but we're going to come back to find gem corn trees. And we're going to cut them down like any other tree. Just like that. And uh, they'll give us a little bit of stone. Uh... And quite likely a gem or two and a gem corn or two. Sell, sell, sell. I think... I think the fastest way to get money at the moment is to hang around town. Do they have to be planted a certain distance apart? Yeah, just like any other tree. Uh, if you plant them too closely together. Oh, here we go. Uh, if you plant them too closely together, they won't, uh, or at least one of them won't spawn. That was quick. We need, I think it's 15. It's either 10 or 15 gems for a grappling hook. Uh, so now we need more acorns. Don't kill the squirrel. Give me some acorns. I'm tempted to make a silver axe at this point. Okay. Uh, ruby gem corn. Fantastic. Uh, that's all of the gem corns for now, right? I'll put a chest here with acorns in it. Also, I should probably rope this. There we go. Okay. Uh, can we do anything? Ash wood chest. Oh, it costs iron bars. I didn't even know we had iron bars. I don't remember smelting this lead. I think we found it in a chest. Traveling merchant has arrived. Did he just pop into existence right in front of me? Or behind me? We can't put, like, gem squirrels into a cooking pot, can we? We got some vanity items, a stopwatch, which I can't afford, and white team uh, blocks. Yeah, I don't think we're too worried about any of that. Get the princess dress? I can't afford it. 50 gold! Oh no. 
Uh, I'm actually curious. I want to see... Ah! Random goldfish from above. Uh, we can't make a cooked amethyst squirrel, right? No, I don't think we can. I could make a fishing rod. 15% fishing powder power, though, is kind of... Like, I don't really want to bother with fishing when it's going to be that weak and slow. But on the other hand, it's kind of a struggle getting stuff uh, early in this this seed, so maybe we should. How much bait do we have? Uh, let me just sell my... Oh, could, could you maybe be persuaded to stop? The, the bunnies and squirrels just keep rolling in, and I can't stop myself from picking them up. They're, they're actually a really good scale of money at the moment. We've now got three gold. Uh, what was it? Four gold? Five gold for the stopwatch. Uh, it's like ten silver for each of these, so I need ten for one gold. Um, okay. Cat? Did that say cat sword? Cat sword. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, and yet another... Oh my god, they're everywhere. I can't stop. This is half a gold that I'm just picking up right now. It's not just my obsessive collect every resource I see... Uh, impulse. Yeah, we're now at 3 gold 85. And that's another 20 silver right there. Okay. Um, I wanted the mining helmet, which I literally just need 20 silver for. Fantastic. We'll worry about the stopwatch some other day. All right, that's our mining helmet. Uh, let's put another chest here. What the? Oh, it actually shows you an animation for the quick stack. Look at this. I'm gonna take all of this out. Uh, and lead goes here. Quick stack. Amazing. Beautiful. 10 out of 10. That's neat, indeed. Uh, I guess we could have two chests for different things now. Potion stuff in here. And... Rid of this. Get out of here, angel statue. I think I need what ten. We don't. We need another town before we start worrying about a pylon. Actually. All right then. What are we doing next? Uh, fishing. I think fishing is actually a pretty good idea considering. I was seriously considering making a silver pickaxe, but it looks like I don't actually have enough silver for that. How much is a pickaxe? Uh, ten bars. You must construct additional pylons, indeed. Darkfire Phoenix, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, fishing rod. This is our first. Oh wait, bait. I had to think about uh, where are we getting our bait from. That's a really good question. Uh, well, the longer I spend in town, the more gems we're getting. Not to mention the gem critters. Uh, 
Maybe we could just hang around until we get a uh, grappling hook at this rate. The doubling period uh, for our gem trees is actually not that long if we pay attention to them. I really would like a better axe, but I think the best we can do is lead at the moment. Wait, no, I think silver axe, maybe? No. Lead axe is like 50% axe power as opposed to 35. You know what? I'm going to do it. As long as we have enough for the fishing rod after. Eight and eight. Oh yeah, we've got tons of lead actually. Just haven't smelted it to ore yet. Which means I should probably make armor. Except with our mining helmet, it's not going to have a set bonus. The set bonus is going to be like one or two defense though. Let's just gain a few defense here. 25 and 20, 45. I can't actually afford that. Okay. Uh, let's get... Wait, what? I already have a lead pickaxe? Okay. I don't remember crafting that. Or did I misclick this? Lead axe. Sell this. Uh, the squirrels just keep coming. Nice. Alright, let's get ourselves some acorns. I guess that's one way to do it. You don't actually have to chop down the tree necessarily. Spicy pepper? Wait, did I get that from the tree? Minor improvements, five minutes. Okay, never mind. Not that excited. It does give you, like, defense, movement speed, regen, everything. Just a tiny amount. Does a diamond squirrel give us more money? Nope. We're almost back to what? We're, we're pretty much back to one gold already here. Alright, uh, we need some acorns and that's seven ruby gem coins. This is actually going faster than I thought it would. We're actually running out of room for our little uh, farm that we've made. Oh, that was quick, but it's literally the worst tree we could possibly get. Uh, at least we got two rubies. That's fine. Alright, more acorns. Can we get it without... Oh, rip, I'm sorry. I'll get them without cutting down the trees. Might actually be faster that way. Okay, uh, and fishing. How are we going to get bait? We can't get bait down here because we don't have a lava proof uh, bug net. Uh, the merchant doesn't sell bait, neither does the traveling merchant for that matter. We can... I don't think we can find bait in the glowing mushroom biome. And I'm pretty sure the the forest biome uh, normally we'd have to be on the surface to find bait. But who knows what rules apply here. Alright, so let's just keep going the same way we've been going. 
I don't think it's quite worth digging through just yet. Oh, that's a gem. That's a gem tree right there. Uh, that's a mushroom tree. This one's a gem tree. And it is sapphire. Nice. It feels weird to be farming gems before we've got bait. To say the least. Oh, grasshopper. That's bait. That's bait. That's bait. It's not very good bait, but it is bait nonetheless. So whenever we see grass, we should uh, clear it out. I think that's another... that's a mouse. I don't think we can use a mouse as bait. I do see a grasshopper, though. No! Grasshopper! Oh... I'm going to blame the slime for that one. Ow. And I think it just killed something that we could have used as bait. Rip. Alright. Let's make a habit of clearing all the grass. I never thought I'd be excited to see a grasshopper, but here we are. Don't jump my... my star. I don't really, really want to go that way just yet. Merchant has departed. Oh yeah, I have a million flares. This is good. Ow. Still worth it to kill it quicker, I think. Uh, let's flare up this way. Um, I think... We'll get a run up and then jump to the left. We've been here. Okay, cool. Nice. Oh yeah. Flares do their job pretty well. Definitely worth the seven copper or whatever each. Is this master mode? Uh, yes. Yes, it is. We found two gold. Is that all that's up here? I guess so. Uh, I wouldn't mind a sunflower for back at spawn. To reduce the monster spawn rate. Luckily there's no traps here because I wasn't prepared. Oh, nope, this is a good angle. Flares. I'm actually really liking the flares. Early flare gun, very nice. Ow, 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 ow. I'm... Was that... Do these things come out of pots? I'm pretty sure... This wasn't here until a second ago. This slime, that is. Okay. Up go the flares. And let's get some... Whoop! That was a dart trap, and yes, it would have killed us. If not for my 
cat-like reflexes. Uh, rope coil not far enough. Okay, let's try like this. Fantastic. Not aiming very well. Oh my god, really? You're joking. No, give it back. Okay. We're almost there. Finally did it. Give me back that rope, how dare you. And... like this. Okay. Uh, cobwebs will take. Zombies... no wait, that's a goblin scout. Oh, there's a zombie on the other side. Okay. Alright. Okay. Good thing we had the mace. Now we have some tattered cloth. I don't want to mess around with this, this jellyfish either. Uh, the only trouble with the flare gun is I'm not going to be leaving a trail of torches. But whatever. It's fine. Life crystal. Fantastic. Uh, what's down here? Nothing. Perfect. Hmm. Is there more rail over this way? There is. Alright, let's go check that out. I don't want to just dig up right now. I kind of forgot that I had the boots. Didn't it say don't dig up? Uh, it's not my dad. Did I not open this? That could have been a trap. I should have been a bit more careful. We have our first recall potions. Amazing. Uh, actually, I'm just going to turn all of these into jester arrows. Shine pot. Actually, we don't really need a shine pot until we get better armor. But I'm glad to have it. Oh! Woman's statue. That'll actually die! Well. Uh... Never, ever let your guard down. That... I don't think I've ever seen a boulder trap on top of the wood of an underground house before. I could be wrong. But I really don't think that's a thing I've seen before. Did we just get zero gems from that one? How rude. At least it didn't happen at the start of our farm. Uh, give me some acorns. I've only got five. Ruby... gem corn? Sapphire gem corn? Fantastic. Alright, Sunflower can go here. Give me up. Uh, yeah, the I think it's the King and Queen statue, actually, that you need to teleport NPCs all over the place. Oh, we have uh, Hasty Spike Shoes now. That's a slight improvement. Uh, plus 3% movement, I'll take it. 
We've actually got plus six percent melee speed already. All right, potion ingredients go in here. Tattered cloth, I think I'll throw in the same place. And bait down here. I thought that was a fire imp for a second there. Okay, where did we get one shot? Right there. So the first rail we find, just follow that to the right until this spot. Until the fishing spot, let's say. Let me up. Where are we going? Too far to the left. Maybe I should dig up here. Uh, whatever. It, it's a bit too much work every time. I can't believe it happened right after recall potions as well. Theoretically, I could have reflexed out of that. With an itchy teleport finger. Uh, why am I using the crappy sword? Ow. I don't feel like playing with you right now. Alright, so we are going to the next water spot and going up. Beep, beep. And here's our co Wait, I didn't pick this up? Oh, because I died like two seconds later. Uh... Oh, it was one of those one-off... It, it was one of those one-off touch plates that's harder to see as well. I think it's reddish usually. Another couple of recall potions, plus two defense, I'll take over plus three percent melee, uh, melee speed. Especially when our total defense just went up from four to six. There's the guide statue, uh, Picasso rather. I'll take a keg even though I never use it. Ow, oh, that was close. And we have a relatively conveniently located demon altar. Uh, it's not that close to town, but considering how often we have to use it, it's, I guess it's not too far. Uh, did I not empty this before? I did. Why have I not been picking up chests? Probably attacked by a zombie or something. That's the end of the line. There's another line down here. I do like to follow the natural caves as far as I can. Those things hit harder than expected. The green demon eyes. Oh, I have a flare gun. I forgot. Okay. Uh, there's really nothing of interest over this way. Um, are we strong enough to perhaps explore down the bottom here, left and right now? I think so. 
Oh, quick stack go burr. Wow, how much range does that quick stack have? That's actually fantastic. Uh, keg. I don't know here. Don't really care. Let's get a uh, jester, if only to make more inventory space. Uh, it looks like I should visit the farm, actually. How, mu how many acorns do I have? One. Okay. Let's see if we can quickly get some acorns without cutting down the trees. That's one, two... Oh yeah, this is way faster. I think there's like a really, 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 really small chance of getting... A grappling hook every time you do this as well. Uh, called the squirrel hook or something. I'm getting a bit carried away. We're exploring and I didn't even mean to. I'm just trying to get acorns here. I'll keep going until I see something new. Okay, that's... That'll do, I guess, for a point to turn around. That's not what I meant to do. Just trying to pick pick up everything. Uh, it's actually a pretty good way to get food early on. Like, really good. And a little bit of wood. I'm pretty sure you can do this indefinitely, like, the individual trees won't remember... what They won't be cut down little by little. They're like any other block that you have to break. All in one go, pretty much. Alright, so that's 16 acorns. That's a much easier way. Especially when we've got, uh, speedy boots. Alright, how many gems have we got? Uh, well, we have plenty of gem corns. Not so many gems. I might start banking away the sapphire gems. Since we might actually have enough for a grappling hook after the next harvest. Uh, yeah, we don't even have room for more trees, and I'm not going to take the time to add more room right now. So, this is our gem stash. Four rubies, six sapphires, and quite a lot of trees. Won't be long now, and we can get a grappling hook out of it. And we also have plenty of food, so I should start using that. Oh, and why don't we get some acorns and stuff as we go this way as well. I'm guessing if we go to the right, we're going to find the same thing. A big pool of lava, eventually. This is, uh... Assuming the Wall of Flesh fight is the same... Uh, I guess this is going to be the easiest arena-less wall of flesh fight ever. It's basically built your arena for you from the start of the match, uh, start of the save. And there's our lava. Okay, let's get our food. Well, I wasn't missing out on much when I said I'd like to explore left and right. Sweet. 
super easy to get acorns. And fire blossom as well. Wait, can we plant fire blossom in this grass? Or was it just a piece of ash that I didn't notice? Uh, let's see. I'll put the seeds in here. Fallen stars in here. Acorns down here. Love the way it tosses it. And we'll hold on to the regen band. Because that can turn into multiple things. Uh, recall potions go in slot four. Oh, I didn't actually... When I died from the boulder, I think I didn't actually have this in slot four. Which was a mistake. Uh, so we've actually gone like... 30% of the way to the edge of the map. Okay. Where should I put these? Up here, I think. This was a large map? Yes. Yes, it was. Um, how many trees have grown? Only two. All right, we'll give it a little bit, bit of time, and then hopefully when we come back... Oh, we got blink root. Nope, we've, we've still only got one blink root. We only got one seed out of it. I think the lack of access to bait was probably a deliberate choice with this seed. Uh, because if you're patient, you could really... Uh, get rid of the challenge by fishing. Ow. Not gonna lie, more knockback on a, f a mace. Assuming that you get the knockback bonus from these little twirls. Uh, maybe stronger than having a flaming mace. But the quality of life of having a light source before I had the mining helmet. And after, because we'll not use the mining helmet when we have more defense. Uh, definitely worth. Oh, we haven't gone left yet. Because there were enemies down here. Too fast. Rail is still pretty safe compared to other places from traps. If you just go a little bit slow and look out for it, uh, it's easier to spot the traps than other places. We have a fairy. What are you going to show us? Oh, it's not just a fairy. It's a wandering eye as well. The movement pattern and knockback and everything of wandering eye versus... Is a blue slime immune to lava? Kind of. It burns, it doesn't take lava damage. Huh. Uh, yeah, what are you going to show us? Did I go past it? Will you hang around until I get close to a chest or something? Or should I go back? Okay, it's found something. It's gonna be out in the open, isn't it? Uh, this is a bit dodgy. Oh, I see it. It's a brown chest. Out in the open. Alright, let's go with stone for a bridge. Yes, I see it, thank you. Guide to plant fiber cordage. We have infinite rope now. Uh, 
Wait, what? It's not working. Allows the collection of vine rope from vines. Does this have to be in an accessory slot now? It does. Didn't this used to work if it's just in your inventory? Well, I have two empty slots still, and it gives plus 4% damage, so I don't particularly care. It's not relevant later on, so this is fine. Uh, if I had grenades, I would definitely... Oh, wait. I've been carrying bombs around. And I don't have a... Home available for the demolitionist. Should probably remedy that. Oh! You're joking. What was that knockback? Since when does a zombie knock you back like that? Uh... Well, I was about to say, I'll go back in a sec. Okay. Uh, let's make room for a pylon. Where's our wood? And it's going to be different wood, isn't it? Give it back. Uh, Ashwood. Here we go. Nope, not there. Ashwood wall. Um, I guess I have to go horizontal since... Since I already started putting stuff above. Is this right? Um, let's see. 13 by 6 inclusive. 12 by 6 inclusive. So this goes here. I actually can't believe how much knockback that little zombie had. Uh, workbench? And... What? There we go. Okay, and then one of these. Can I not pick this up? There we go. This housing is suitable. Uh, yeah, so we have bombs in our inventory. We should have a demolitionist appearing fairly soon. And grenades are super relevant still. So that'll help. I'm pretty sure our six gold just dropped into the lava here. So rip the majority of the money that we've ever had. Um, I'll put a chest in here. Sell these. Oh yeah, I haven't been using the tax collector. That helps. I guess money comes pretty easily with these uh, Topaz bunnies and so on, though. Throwing knife. Uh, I never use these. I think I'll just sell them. Shackle. One defense. Fantastic. I wonder if we got that from the, uh, the zombie that killed us. Okay. Do I want to explore further over this way? I think I'd still do. Oh, what about our trees? No, they need more time. I maybe make it so that we can run up that way continuously?
Is is enemy knockback just equal no matter what the enemy? I think it might be. Ow. Gee, you're joking. King Slime has awoken? Uh, we're not ready for King Slime, are we? Maybe down here we are. We're gonna... Ow. 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 Uh, I don't... I don't think we're ready. Um... When are you gonna teleport? We are so not ready for this. As soon as we stop getting cheese... As soon as it teleports, we're in big trouble. Um, okay. We've done a seventh of it. How many arrows do I have? 130. How about flare gun? Uh, if we can keep this cheese up, which I doubt, then we could get it. Those spiked slimes are nothing to joke about. Could you not jump in that particular pattern? Oh no. Did we escape? I think we escaped. Okay. Random King Slime. That's good to know. I think it's... Probably a random chance every time we kill a slime. He's trapped? Yeah, normally he would just teleport after a little while. At least it's not a for the worthy king slime. It did seem a bit bigger than I remember. Uh, we still have no... Demolitionist. Oops. Some better movement items would be nice. Cloud in a bottle would be absolutely... What is with this water? Can we make some obsidian? Apparently not. What? Okay. Why don't I dig up this way? I don't actually need rope to climb this either, because I've got the spiked shoes. But it might be a bit difficult to dig without it. Massage to death. Uh, which way am I going? Up over this? Okay. Uh, that's where we died, and... There's one gold here. Somehow. 
I guess we didn't lose our money, or maybe we lost most of it. I mean, we do lose a fraction when we die, but like, maybe most of it dropped into the lava. Uh, let's use mushrooms here. Whoops. Oh! 190 damage from the lava. That doesn't sound right. I only touched the thin bit of lava as well. That's that's not usually how much damage lava does, I'm pretty sure. I don't think it's just because we have low defense. How come you can walk on some of the thin stuff but couldn't walk on that? Uh, thin stuff. Like what? Oh, 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 I think I know what you mean. I'll show you in a second. Oh, that's a bird, not a bat. At least we don't have bats down here. I haven't seen a single bat. Uh, so this stuff. Yeah, this is not actually lava, um, if that makes sense. So we have up here a block of lava. Uh, I guess a half block of lava here. And then this is fake right here. So if I take a few more steps forward from here, I'll probably die in one hit. Uh, but this half block is actually empty of any fluid. Uh, it's just... If I have a hammer, I can show you. Let's dig this out. Wooden hammer. Uh, if you hammer tiles that are close to a fluid, you can get this effect if you give it a half block. Does that make sense? Or, rather than asking, does it make sense, do you understand, would be a bit more of an accurate question. Uh, and it works with it works that way with all fluids, by the way. Uh, you can actually do some weird stuff, like, uh, I think with rainbow blocks, you can make, like, rainbow water. Uh, dropping away from somewhere. I can't believe lava just one-shot us, even though we didn't even fall into it. That's so weird. Okay, where are we going? I, I, I seriously doubt that what we're working towards to explore is actually that interesting. Now I'm terrified of lava. Oh my god. Meanwhile, the slimes don't care at all. Uh, no, go away. Give me that lens. Fantastic. Uh, can I not jump up there? I can. Let's get some flares in here. It doesn't actually go that far. That's not a piranha. Uh, yep. We do indeed get slimes popping out from pots. Oh, that was a good jump. Sorry, I didn't mean to kill you. Sorry, sorry. I'll make it up to you. Okay, we're getting somewhere now. That is a touch plate, I'm pretty sure. There's probably a boulder trap up here. 
let's get ourselves some rope. Oh. I thought that boulder was falling down. <laughs> okay, that was terrifying. I, I knew it looked too slow to be a boulder, but still. Yep, there it is, boulder trap. Ow! Rip. Okay. Let's go here. Let's have a little rail. There's actually apparently nothing down here. Except a demon altar. Ooh, a heart. So we only would have needed, uh, what? Three or four more of these before we could have survived one tick of touching the lava, just barely. There's a trap here. I didn't even see the touch plate. We are so far from the surface still. Not that I expect to get to the surface quickly. Uh, a reliable source of bait for fishing would be nice, though. Hmm. I guess we're not getting the angler until late game. What's down here? That's just a sunflower. Oops. Ow. The nurse has arrived. That's not that exciting, actually. I thought it was the demolitionist for a second. Why don't we have the demolitionist yet? Now I need to make another home for him. I also don't have a gun. We're not getting the arms dealer. Her name is Kayla, don't let her die. Why not? Who is Kayla anyway? Which Kayla are we talking about? Ow, 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 I forgot the green ones hurt so much. Uh, let's use one of our many potions. Oh, that's another bonus from the Flaming Mace. Enemies end up showing us stuff that's below. Oh, I thought I saw a flicker of light up here. Let's see if we can get to it. That's my name? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Uh, alright. We got Magic Mirror, that helps. That helps a lot. What's this? Mouse statue. Okay. I really expect to see a trap here, but I guess that... Oh, there's one. Wait. Uh-oh. For a second there, I thought that Dart Trap was facing a tile of dirt, but it's actually just a bit of grass sticking out. Uh, pro tip for if you play hardcore, put pressure plate in a slot like this and you can see the wire if you hold onto it. Yay mirror, indeed. Oh, 
That's another trap I missed. And speaking of gems, we should check in on our farm. Just a few trees haven't bloomed yet. Or haven't grown. I, I feel like there's probably something over this way. Don't you raw me. hurts. Fortunately the mace is ideal in this spot. Oh. Oh, that's a hut. Since when do they flare up like that visually? Oh, and that's our flares from before. I really like that addition, actually. Hold up. If we get... If we get 200 max health, um, normally that's the condition for the Eye of Cthulhu to show up. But, like, how are we going to fight it down here? I guess we have room to fight in this area. But... Normally, the boss wouldn't come down this deep. Whatever, let's find out. Uh, it's good to avoid 200 health if you're not prepared for, like, goblin army invasion. If you're going to break uh, an orb. But we don't have any orbs. Hey, Mikey. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Don't dig up because you have friend. Don't dig up you're not beaten yet. Wait, what? One million dollars for the person who gets the reference. I guess it's not me. Alright, can we get a grappling hook? Let's find out. We need a better axe. I think we have like six rubies stashed away, right? That's 11. That's 12. I think we just need three more. But we don't have any more ruby trees that are currently planted. No! Rip, butterfly. At this rate, we're going to get sapphire first. Oh, I misplaced it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and we just barely can't fit this here. Okay. Eight. I've actually got one more. All right, let's expand it a little bit. Need to cut down this tree. I'm rich. Nice. Uh, alright. So, what are we doing? Oh yeah, gems. How many do we have? We have 10, 11. And 8 amethyst, but I'm not going to bother farming amethyst because it is the worst. 
<laughs> Seems plausible, Mikey. Sounds legit. Uh, Alright, I gotta make another home to hopefully get the demolitionist, but I feel like the demolitionist isn't coming, actually. Where's our wood? Oh, wait, what's th what are the dimensions here? 12 by... I think these are wider. 13 by... Yeah, let's fix that. Can't have asymmetry. Alright, so... The the merchant started making placement block placement noises when I was trying to concentrate on how big this is. There we go. Where's our door? And chair. Chair. And candelabra. And then we need some back walls. And this housing is suitable. Fantastic. Put the wood over here. Quick stack some stuff. Uh, throw the statues down. Sell this. Archery potion is going to be nice when we have a boss to fight. It looks so weird when he tosses uh, the acorn that far. Casually get another 40 silver. We only have 93. Well, we don't really need to buy anything right now. Uh, I wouldn't mind some more arrows in case we find another boss. There we go. And... Turn that back into regular wood. Trash that. Okay. I haven't had any inventory issues just yet. So this isn't really going anywhere. This isn't really going anywhere. Uh, what's that? Is that sand? We might have to check that out. Alright, so we're going to the right. Let me up. For those who don't know, my odd brain saw don't dig up and thought don't give up. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, we're, we're good, we're good, we're good. I kind of hope they add those star slimes to the main game, but I'm guessing no. Oh, wait, rain? What? How? What? I... I, I don't... How is it raining? This seems a little odd. Alright, so we are going up here. It's raining, apparently. This is a very strange world. Uh, and I think we found sand up this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
That is indeed sand. Okay. New biome. Hype. That's cactus. Now we can make the best early game armor. Uh, assuming we can find more of it. This could be our... Oh, could we... I, I, I seriously doubt it, but could we get a conch? And teleport to the ocean? I, I feel like if we get to the surface premature... <gasps> Armored cloud in a bottle. That's so good right now. Oh, that's nice. We have double jump and we have plus three armor. Beautiful. Rain is a thing? Why not? Beca oh crap, why did I do that? Oh crap, oh crap. Okay, it's not that strong. But I shouldn't have done that without thinking it through. I'll take the Oasis painting. Uh, I actually really would like to find... That's water leaf. I don't want to break that. I actually really would like to find enough cactus to make cactus armor. I could take some sand back. Oh, 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 it's raining right when we find our first water leaf as well. So every mature water leaf uh, plant that we find is going to be blooming. That's a worm. I don't know if worms are going to be appearing in town right now, but uh, if they are, we could find quite a, little, uh, quite a bit of bait. Bait is kind of precious, uh, this playthrough. Ow. Ow. What do we have here? Nothing new. Uh, we can actually make 35% bait power worms by combining them with stars. Alright, uh, back to the desert biome, I think. Oh, the double jump. Feels nice. Let's get this heart. Is that a touch plate, or...? Ow, he's got range. How dare you. That's Topaz. And that's a jellyfish out of water. Give me another worm. I can't believe we've found literally exactly one worm. Water leaf, we'll take. Uh, I will take a bunch of sand back with us so that we can make a... Waterleaf farm. It'll probably also spawn cactus. Because cactus does just randomly appear on sand blocks. I think normally it would have to be on the surface, but the rules are different. Alright, uh, 70 sand should be enough. Got another keg. Percent feel free. What is with this bot? Is there pig on a stick? Pig on a stick? What? Uh oh. Flying fish. Is this another mod? No, this is vanilla. Uh, it's the labor of love. Uh, labor. Labor? Labor of lub... Oh my god, words. It's that update. Uh, and there's a new seed. It's called... Don't dig up. Labor of love, indeed. Uh, we have yet another building already. That's a trap. That'll, that will spawn bats and blood zombies. Uh, but we could probably farm them, considering the bad position they'd be in. Oh no! 
Okay, okay. I forgot we had double jump. It's fine. Alright, let me up. That's not a good toss. That's a good toss. We need more cactus. How much have we got? Uh, only 35. I think we need more than that. Significantly more than that for our cactus set. Uh, it'll have very little defense, just like what we've got now, but it will retaliate against attackers. And they will suffer knockback from that retaliation as well. Oops, I already summoned two of them already. Uh, could we maybe... There we go. Ow, 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 ow. Bad, bad bat. Bad bat. Oh no, the bats are summoning bats. Okay. Dig up here. And... I think as long as we... Oh no. Uh, I don't have a grappling hook to root myself to the ground, so that doesn't happen again. Okay, we're good for the, for the moment. As long as we don't go right, the blood zombies won't find a way out. Actually, I don't think that... Thank you so much, Barry. I, I didn't know that there was a gold chest there. Uh, good info... 10 out of 10. This is going to be quite effective, actually. I was thinking I wish we had grenades, but this is all we need right now. Alright. Get rid of the bat statue. Uh, we get more boots. Um, we could probably farm this for a... what is it called? Uh... What is that? A vulture? Okay. I haven't seen a vulture underground before coming up at me from below. Oh, what? Oh, no. Oh, no. No, thank you. No, no. That is... That is one clever demon eye. Okay. Okay. That's... That's not good. Um... Have you ever seen it rain indoors? Get used to it. Indeed. Well... I guess I don't have to figure out a way to safely farm this. We could give this a minute and see if they drop a, a, a money trough. A shark tooth necklace. I think the odds are a bit lower if... If they come from a spawner statue. Wait, is the demon eye summoning them? Yes. See that red thing on the left? It's a touch plate that monsters can trigger, as well as players. And I'm never gonna mo- I'm, if they do drop something, I'm never gonna get a moment to pick it up and unless I come back. I only see one monster here. <laughs> what do you mean? Thank you, Demon Eye? Yeah, I mean, it was trying to kill us with its clever plan here, but, uh, I don't think it worked out. It's not like we get XP in this game, so we're not actually gaining anything unless they drop something. They won't drop money, but they should have a low chance to drop, uh, money trough and shark tooth necklace. But, I don't know, this is, uh, I only have so much patience. Alright, five more. Th 
tree. The guide has arrived. Still no demolitionist. And now we have to make another house. Okay, let's go. Um, they're all going to be upset that they are overcrowded, but I can't really be bothered to find them another place right now. Um, but yeah, we have a guide. Alright, let's do one more house over here. Door. Uh, 12 more blocks of wood over this way. Table, chair, and back wall. You are farming misery? <laughs> but they're blood zombies. They exist only to murder us. Uh, let me just quick stack first. There we go. And then... Ashwood. Did they choose to be? <laughs> Probably not. Alright, we have one 35% bait. I should probably come back here when it's raining, but I really wanted to try and get enough water leaf. Which I'm sure we did actually. We got 17 water leaf seeds. Okay, that was maybe a little excessive. Uh, we're already set for water leaf. Uh, actually, I want to add as much sand as possible. Uh, let me do it a little further away. This area will be so that we can get some cactus. Uh, but the sand back at base is just so that we can plant water leaf. Come to think of it, I probably shouldn't put it under the uh, houses like that. I should put it somewhere where we won't accidentally destroy the water leaf. And my inventory is full again. Uh, don't drop the magic mirror. Can we quick stack? No? Uh, alright. Water leaf, water leaf seeds, sell the bunnies. And that should give us some room for the moment. Bait can go down here. Bat statue. I didn't get the blood zombie statue. Because, surprisingly enough, it was difficult to get to. Can we get a better roll than basic flaming mace? We cannot. Alright, I'm not going to bother reforging that later. It does give us two gold. That's nice. Uh, I might hold on to the Hermes boots. Even though they're just slightly worse versions of what we have. Uh, sell these. Hold on to that. What's this? Hunter potion. That'll be good at some point. Angel statue. Sell, sell, sell. Uh, Oasis painting is kind of big though. I'll just put it away for the moment. And I think we'll put that sand up next to the blink root. Oh, wow. So I made this little patch of dirt so that we could farm blink root. So far, we've harvested this plant right here just once. We only got one seed out of it, which was just enough to replant. Uh, but we've doubled our blink root because we got a random blink root spawn right here. That's... 
Uh, that's blink root for you, I guess. Alright, Waterleaf is gonna go here. And it'll probably all be mature by the time it rains. I actually measured out exactly enough sand, that's nice. Uh, speaking of measuring out sand, let's make a little desert over here so that we can get some cactus. That might be enough. How I wish I had a lava proof bucket. Uh, close enough. Where did my mirror go? There we go. Alright, let's have a look at our farm. Fantastic. Uh, this should be our grappling hook. And I'm pretty sure the ruby one has better reach than the sapphire one. In Calamity it actually shows you the stats for the grappling hooks. I, I hope they added that to vanilla. It's one of those things that a mod adds and then the question is just like, why on earth doesn't vanilla have this? Oh, no! Oh. A squirrel. So I think I played Terraria for like 10 minutes and I didn't really get it. What should I do to achieve getting it? Uh, as in, how should... What are some tips for getting started? Squirrel murderer? I'm sorry. Didn't mean to. Yeah, I guess. Okay. Uh, best, in my opinion, best starting armor in the game is cactus armor. Uh, it's very, very, very easy to get. Um, and it, just like other starter armors, it has very little defense. But as I said before, uh, it actually retaliates to attackers, which includes knocking them back. So if you get piled on by slimes when you have, you know, an awkward starter weapon and no movement speed and all of this, uh, it'll actually get them off you. Uh, so it makes a pretty big difference if you're getting hit by bats or something. Uh, let's do the sapphire trees over here. Um, what else? Ow. Uh, explore the map at the top of the world as much as you can before you run into corruption or the jungle or crimson. Uh, you know what? I'm going to move this. We've got plenty of gem corns now. Uh, and open as many chests as you can. Oh, hello. Uh, so what do we have here? I guess I'll start banking gem corns. We have 25 sapphire and 21 ruby. Fantastic. Uh, we, could, we could also farm topaz, but topaz isn't very good. I think it's like the second worst here of uh, gems. And the trees are now exploding into existence so quickly I can't get rid of them, which is nice. All right, we take our gems to the anvil and we make ruby hook. Oh, that's some good range. So this goes as far as our little house goes. Sapphire hook, not even close. It's like 
three tiles shorter. And it still doesn't tell us anything about it if we mouse over it. Uh, but yeah, Ruby is pretty high tier. Let's just sell the... it's only 40 silver. That's unfortunate. Uh, I'm pretty sure if we look at gems, give it to the guide. Uh, phase blades all do the same damage, that's just aesthetic. But there's star uh, staves that you can make. And I think the robes as well. Uh, you can compare like how much damage you're going to get from ruby staff or sapphire staff. You can see ruby's better based on the damage. It's not like they have different strengths and weaknesses. Uh, they're just different tiers of gem. Diamond is the best. Ruby is probably second best, I think. Off the top of my head. Uh, let's put our topaz over here. It's really nice, I have to say, having a gem farm right next to town like this so early in the game. And now we can hook our ways up to talk to the NPCs like this. Very convenient. Uh, Alright, we have 37 cactus. To get an armor set, we need 30, 50, 75. We can't plant cactus, can we? Like, it will spontaneously appear on sand, uh, assuming it's okay for it to grow in this biome, but... Oh, no, 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 those are cactus blocks. Yeah, that won't work the same way. Okay, then. I don't feel like fighting these slimes. Uh, cactus will go in potion ingredients. I don't suppose since the update we can buy glass or anything. We probably still have to harvest sand to get bottles, to get potions. Uh, but exploring the desert is still our best bet for getting new and better stuff, I think. Oh, I didn't quite finish this. This housing is suitable. Alright, hopefully we'll get a demolitionist next. By the time we get him, we're probably not going to care about grenades anymore. That's a bat. No, that's a blue jay. I was going to say, it would be weird if we only now saw a bat here. Up we go. Okay. Uh, we need to jump up here. Up. Maybe I should... Oh, this rail doesn't go anywhere. Maybe I could make this rail continue up this way instead. Why can't I hit it? There we go. We can make our own minecart track, but this is a little easier. I guess it's not that much easier. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. 
That's why I was clearing out that jellyfish. Oh, no you don't. Sneaky. Alright, give me that trail. Uh, trail? Rail. Rail track. And give me that star as well. Fantastic. I wonder if the fallen stars... Hmm. Normally fallen stars disappear during the day. I wonder if it's different on this seed. Because if you just happen to kill a slime that drops fallen stars uh, during the day, you would think it would just immediately dissipate. But I haven't seen that happen once. Seems unlikely that I've only killed them during the night. I don't really feel like fighting the zombie. Up we go. Uh, this isn't really the way to go. Can we jump like this? We actually can. Nice. Okay, I think we'll follow the rail further to the left. And down here. Uh, more stuff that is things we already have. Ooh, up, uh, up, uh, up, uh, double trap. Double chest, double trap. And I think. Yeah, 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 it's worse than that. This is a dead man's chest. Uh, so we've got three, t uh, two or three explosives down here. A regular old slime. I haven't seen one of those this playthrough. One, two, three explosives. A couple of dart traps. And at least one boulder trap. Probably one boulder trap. I don't really have an angle on this slime. There we go. Uh, the trap won't trigger until I try to open the chest. Just have to be careful not to do that. Ow. Alright. Uh, let's get some rope up here. And it's just the one boulder, it looks like. Alright. It should now be safe to open the chest. Still don't know how you see those. Uh, well, there were two dart traps right here. And then I just sort of suspected that it could be a dead man's chest. Uh, and then I grabbed onto the grey pr uh, pressure plate. And it shows the the wires. Ow. Alright, so this is nothing special. And... We're fine. Uh, nothing too special in here either. Oh, regen. I mean, that's not great or anything, but that's our first one. And my inventory's full. Uh, what am I dropping? Probably the glow sticks. Alright. I keep forgetting I have the grappling hook now. 
potions of return would be nice. Uh, not potions of return. Um, oh yeah, it is called potion of return. Recall potion is the the basic one. That's another chest. And it is a trap. It is very a trap. Where's your hook? Uh, it is in the equipment, uh, like, tab thing over here. Alright, let's first of all say no to this uh, boulder right here. I didn't know that exploding it would make it roll away. And then we've got probably some explosives and one, two dart traps. Oh, my inventory. Yeah. My inventory is really full. Um, what should I drop? Wow, we have 22,000 rope. That's nice. Probably the day bloom. It's really easy to farm it. Also, minecart track. Uh, don't really need to hold on to that. That looks really weird. Alright. One, two... Explosives just out in the open. Where's the other one? There's one here. No, there isn't. And there's one over here. I think that's all of it. That was all of it. Uh, I'll drop the cobweb. Actually, I'll drop the rope, uh, the vine rope. Because we literally can't stop picking that up all over the place. I love that quick stack animation. When boss spawn? Uh, I don't know. Let's sell the extra flare gun and flares. Um, fallen stars go in here. And explosive. I can't believe we still don't have the demolitionist. That's so weird. don't really need another magic mirror. Uh, I'll hold on to a spare cloud. And we've got three more angel statues. Alright. Sell this. Give me free money. And then I think we are perhaps good to go. Sell the shuriken, put the sand away. Uh, we need sand for glass. Any kind of sand will do. Actually, let me turn this into glass. Can I not? Maybe sandstone block can't be used for glass. It cannot. Okay. Just put that there for now. Uh, Alright, I think I'll take a quick break here. And we'll continue with Terraria in a few minutes. I'll check up some words on stream while we're waiting for that. Cup. 
P link. Fantastic. All right, we'll start words on stream in about 30 seconds. I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck, have fun, and I'll see you soon.
Okay. Let's continue with Terraria, shall we? Uh, so where were we? We just cleared out our inventory. Uh, it's getting to the point where we start having inventory issues. One, two, three. We got plenty of chests. And... Uh, I'll just carry one type of food here. Speaking of which, I might do another run to get more, more acorns and make sure we stay ahead of our need for food. I should start actually consuming these instead of saving them. We got a little bit of cactus here. Nice. Although I don't think we're going to get our cactus armor set while it's still relevant. The demolitionist has arrived! It only took 700 days. As soon as we hit the lava, we'll turn around and pick up whatever dropped from these trees. And back we go. Kind of forgot again that I have double jump. Alright, we should have way more acorns than we need. Hmm, didn't know you could have a little slope that you could run up like that, but will kill your velocity. Uh, Magic MW, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. We got 17 acorns and 3 pomegranate from that. And that's 15 minutes of food if we were to consume them continuously. Oh, and I don't know how many spicy peppers we got uh, during that run. I'm not really concerned about farming uh, any more rubies or sapphire at the moment. So I'll wait till... All of those trees are grown before I cut them down. And if we find diamonds, I want to farm up diamonds. That's by far the best hook you can get for a while. Uh, but yeah, there's not that many uses for gems. You can make a loom and take lots and lots of spider web, turn it into silk, and make a uh, robe. And take some gems and make the earliest game magic armor. But the, uh, the effort that it takes to get that, it's really not worth it. it. It gives you like one or two defense or something. And some max mana, I don't think it even gives you any magic damage. I'll have to double check that. Uh, but it's pretty underwhelming, to say the least. Oh, now we're getting windy weather <laughs> underground. We're getting the uh, floating slimes with the uh, balloons. Is there anything in windy weather that I should hang around town for or something? I don't think so. I forgot to get grenades. Oh well. We've got the mace. Um, that's not too bad for getting something around the corner. There's our... Oh, there's a loom, actually. Free loom. Speak of the devil. Ouch. 
Ouch. And we'll take the blood zombie statue with us, I think. Uh, by the time we can... By the time we get the mechanic... Uh... Well, by definition, pretty much, when we get the mechanic, we could actually make a farm to automatically kill blood zombies. So, if they can... Ow! 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 Jeez. Uh, alright, that's kind of nasty. What's the best weapon I have for this situation? Probably the mace still. And flag on goes here. Almost got him. Uh, you can actually spawn sand by having an antlion attack you. There's a better way, I can't remember how it works. Um, to get infinite sand in vanilla. I only learned it relatively recently. Oh, it's the sand gun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you can make a sand gun, which literally fires sand. It uses sand blocks for ammo. Um... And just like the projectiles from uh, that antline creature, uh, if you shoot it to the ground or into a wall or something, uh, it will drop a sand block to the ground, just like when you mine it with a pickaxe. Uh, it actually does benefit from uh, ammo reduction, ammo consumption reduction bonuses. Like, uh, if you have a ranger set, or if you use a... What's it called? Ammo Reservation Potion, which you can farm up the ingredients for from the jungle. Uh, so yeah, make a sand gun. Uh, get an ammo reduction... Ammo consumption reduction bonus. And point it at a wall, and just go for it. And that's your infinite sand. I think people used to use that to make money, because selling glass or something, but it probably, I think it got nerfed. But as far as I'm concerned, I'm just happy that we do have a supply of sand that doesn't involve endlessly going back to the desert and stripping away a uh, goblin statue, that's good. Uh, going back to the desert and stripping away the land. That's a touch plate. Uh, and that means we could actually farm goblins right here if we wanted to. Uh, goblin scout. Nice. Ow. I don't know if they're going to drop the tattered cloth though. Yeah, no. Oh, I didn't mean to spawn another one. If we get 10 Tattered Cloth, we can summon the Goblin Army. And if we do it when we want to do it, uh, it means the first one probably won't... I mean, the first one will uh, not be spawned when we're not necessarily ready. There are subsequent random Goblin Army spawns, though. What's that? King statue. Fantastic. It's very nice to have double jump and grappling hook. How much higher do we have to go before we see a biome change? Or maybe we won't necessarily see a biome change. We'd have to be under the desert or the jungle or something. Maybe I should explore the desert more. Yeah, I think... Uh, I think I do want to... Oh, no. Ow. I think I do want to explore de uh, the desert 
and see if we get a magic conch, which would take us to the ocean. Oh, another desert. Give me that cactus. I was actually just going to go back here. Uh, well, this works. There's no harm, really, in taking water leaf seed from here. Uh, ow, 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 ow. Like, it does just spawn randomly on sand. And we've already got our farm back home. I keep forgetting that pots can spawn these things. And that's a chest, and a trap, and some silver, mining potions, ouch. I'm kind of pinned here. Luckily the zombies can't reach us. There we go. Okay, uh, we got the living wood wand and leaf wand. We can make some fancy trees if we want. I guess we're not getting a gnome anytime soon. a fancy tree. I mean, it, it is aesthetically, but it doesn't actually do anything different. And that is a mimic. Okay, okay. No, no, no. no. Jeez. I thought it was weird that there was a chest there. And I... Okay. Okay. I didn't know we could find mimics already. Alright. Okay. Okay. Hello, demolitionist. No smoking in here. Uh, could I have some grenades, please? Everyone's giving me the base price because they're not happy because they're crowded. Um, I don't have a depth meter, so I can't tell where the caverns layer is, but I'm thinking everywhere that we've got underground forest, I could put a house. Uh, chuck the demolitionist up there and we could have a pylon. But we need about 20 gold to make that happen. Um, let's put chests in here, statues in here. Uh, sell this crap. Potions. For now, let's chuck them in here. We've got some sand for bottles. Oh, wait, I forgot. I was going to see how to make the sand gun. Uh, that's unfortunate. Well, I could go grab a little sand from over here if I really want to. How much cactus do we have? 45. We need like 75 for cactus armor. That was the smallest desert biome I've ever seen. There's a little bit of cactus here, but that's not going to add up to what we need. Uh, Alright, so... I guess we have to be aware of mimics uh, at about this layer and upward. Just a fellow chest. Uh, I'll put this aesthetic stuff in here, I think. We can make some bottles now. Which means if we have a water source, we can make some potions. How far do we have to go for a water source? Way up here, I think. 
Uh, why don't we make a sink? Uh, we need a bucket of water. And then, I don't know what else. It depends on which type of sink we're making. But I'm pretty sure one bucket of water is what's needed. You can just use a block of water as a source to make uh, bottled water, but having a sink is nice because it's not possible to mess it up. Oh, luckily we have some obsidian here. Alright, there's our water. Bottled water. Uh, bucket of water. Back home. And then... We can make all kinds of sinks. Uh, how about... What kind of wood is this? Ashwood. Ashwood sink. It looks very dull. Do we have any other materials we could use? Slime sink? I think we need a solidify for that. Uh, how about a glass sink? We need a we need a glass kiln, but we can make that. I used up all the glass, though. Mm. Cactus sink? Okay, we're doing that. Screw it. Cactus sink. 10 out of 10. Uh, do we just need an anvil? Workbench? Workbench. Amazing. All right, one, two, back to sink can go here. And look at that beauty. Uh, so we can now bottle water by standing next to this. And now that we've got bottled water in here, we should be able to make a potion. No, wait, we need a... Uh, we need a surface with a bottle on it, which I don't have any bottles anymore. Whoops. Let's just put the sink here, and we need two more sand. We'll come back to that. Oh, I should have stacked that day bloom. Down it goes. Okay. Don't stand in my way. Thank you. Oh, that's a chest. I didn't come down here before. Give me that cobweb as well. What do we got? Jagged step stool. Oh, and bottles. Very convenient. 18 bottles all of a sudden. Uh, Alright, so one bottle on a surface, and we have a basic potion crafting setup. Uh, we can improve our healing potions with glowing mushrooms. That's a good start. So now they give us twice as much life. Uh, almost half of our maximum. We can make regen potions out of day bloom and mushroom. I'm pretty sure that's the only thing mushroom goes into. And we've got a decent amount of day bloom. I wanted to see if day bloom seeds could be planted here. Uh, let's put them down here. That should be pretty safe. We can't plant them here. 
Okay. Um, I could put some dirt here. Oh, we've got dirt. Didn't have to go back. Uh, but we need grass seeds. Do we have grass seeds? Water leaf seeds, ash grass seeds. I don't think we've got any grass seeds. I don't think it normally drops. We need the dryad. We could use uh, clay pots. And as an added bonus, uh, it won't be possible to accidentally remove them, destroy them. On the downside, we can only grow seven day bloom at a time. Day bloom's incredibly easy to farm, but you need by far the highest volume of it. Uh, I think we've got enough. Nah, let's get more arrows. I'll leave one star in here so we can quick stack. Uh, but yeah, what potions can we make right now? We should be able to make iron skin. Put some lead aside. For this uh this chest and three of these do we have shine po uh, night owl potion blink root is pretty precious at the moment it doesn't actually take any blink root to make a shine potion uh swiftness needs blink root so I'm not gonna bother. Archery potion. I don't I think it needs lenses. Oh we can make it, yeah. Daybloom and lens. How many lenses do we have? Eight. Okay. Um a couple of those. One of these. And what the hell, swiftness. So we'll be ready to use up our buffs if a boss shows up. We've got a few, actually. Um, is there any use I should save regular bottles for? Uh, there's all the... Oh! Apple, banana, grapes. Don't tell me these common foods that we can make, uh, that we can get from the trees, can be turned into... It's still only minor improvements to stats, but it lasts a lot longer. Any fruit times two. 15 minute duration. Uh, is this a fruit? Doesn't look like it. Could be wrong. Uh, what crafting station do we need? Cooking pot. We can indeed make fruit juice. It actually... It's actually just better. We turned two of these five minute ones into a single 15 minute one. And we've got an even number of these right now. Let's do that. Uh, so now we've got almost three hours of improvements to stats. And we can easily farm up some more. Uh, I want to get a sand gun, if I can. I think I need antline mandibles to make that happen. Also, while we're up here, uh, probably around here somewhere, I'll make a house. So we can make, uh, put a cabin pylon. 
Caverns is anywhere from like, I think it's a thousand down depth wise, all the way down to the underworld. That star slime is having a whale of a time, just clipping through the ground. And he got there eventually. Alright, so this way first. This actually goes straight to almost the desert now, that's nice. I could fix up a house that's already here. Um, for the demolitionist. No, I think we'll make a proper one. Actually, that one's in a pretty good spot. I don't suppose it counts as suitable housing. It's missing a bit of back wall. Let's make some... It doesn't have to be perfect for it to count as housing. Missing a wall. Okay, fine. We'll replace the whole thing. This looks pretty weird, actually. Uh, now it'll say missing a, t a chair. Fantastic. Give it a chair. Alright, so this will be demolitionist. We can sell him stuff. And I'll need to make room for another NPC here. So that we can put a pile on. How tall is this? Six tiles high. Bonus clay. So I should be on the lookout for clay, actually. Since we can use it to make a bigger blink root farm. Uh, ever since a certain patch, it hasn't been that big of a deal. Because once you get the dryad, she sells you planters very cheaply, which are just better than uh, clay pots. But with this, uh, with this seed, we're definitely on the lookout for clay. to have a door technically or will this count we'll see and ashwood candelabra this housing is suitable actually nice so the next NPC that qualifies uh, will get added here, and we'll be able to get a couple of pylons together once we have the money. Um, I think I do want to continue exploring the desert, though. 
This is the desert music soundtrack, so we must still be close to it. I do see there's a little desert bed up here. Alright, let's dig through this. Oh. Hmm. Let's maybe not dig up that way. If there's... Once fishing is relevant, I'd like to have a fishing spot nice and close to the town. Can we go up here? Ow. That's a... Uh, that's a no, actually. How about... This'll do, I think. Or is that the same body of water? I don't think it is, but I don't want to mess it up just in case. Let's use some bombs. It's a bit easier. Ow. And there's another chest. Ouch. Any traps? Nope. What have we got here? Danger sense potion. I'll take it. Partly just because I don't have room in my inventory right now. Is the demolitionist back here yet? Nope, it's not night time. The zoologist has arrived. Fantastic. I don't know if the zoologist and demolitionist get along, but... Did I not buy grenades? Really? I guess not. Uh, that makes this pretty awkward, actually. Very awkward. Um, I guess the mace is still the best tool I have. For something like this. If I can just get it over the side there. There we go. And then the slimes are going to keep jumping over it. Okay, let's just jump up here and see what happens. What's the worst that could happen? Nothing. Uh, I think the zoologist... I think I can sell stuff to the zoologist, actually. Let's clean out inventory up a bit. And I'll put a chest back there. Back we go. What are we selling? We've got all our slots filled here. So all I just likes forest, princess and golfer, and loves witch doctor. Dislikes desert and angler. Understandable. 14 damage whip. That is... Actually, a significant upgrade from our uh, from our sword. I don't think. Oh, guide to critter companionship. I kind of want that, but we literally can't afford it right now. And sell this. Wait, the jagged step stool is a material now. I'm intrigued. Okay, I have to... Oh, I have to... I have to see. What does a jagged... What does a step stool make? It's part of the Hand of Creation, which is an upgrade from the Architect Gizmo pack. Uh, Hold up to reach higher. Does Is it literally just step stool plus... We, we get the treasure magnet as well, and the chisel built into this. That's really nice. Uh, so block wall and placement speed, block placement and tool range, 
automatically paints, mining speed, pickup range, up to reach higher. Uh, it does just combine these things. So we're literally just adding... Well, no, we're not literally just adding step tool to this. We need to put all of these together. Uh, suddenly the step stool is like, score. Actually really glad we found a step stool. I think I sold one earlier without noticing um, that it can be upgraded. I should pay more attention to what is or isn't a material and not take it for granted. Let's get some more clay pots. That's actually quite a few. That should get us our critical mass of reproduction of uh, day bloom. Uh, but first, let's quick stack, sell the various critters. Wasn't I gonna? Oh yeah, I was gonna show sand to the guide. Sand isn't actually part of the sand gun. I think we need antline mandible topaz. We need topaz. We have four topaz. Do we need to farm some? Let's see. Five topaz, illegal gun parts, and ten antline mandible. Uh, so we need the arms dealer, which is a bit of a problem at the moment. I don't know when we're going to have a gun. Alright, give me some Daybloom seeds. And then chuck this in here. I guess we should... When are we going to get a natural goblin army invasion? I could look for tattered cloth, but like, we have no armor. What kind, How much metal do we have? 37 silver bar, that's uh, more than I thought. Let's see what we can make. Uh, chain mail would give us another 3 defense. This would give us another two, this would give us another one, and we'd lose our shine. Um, but yeah, I'll definitely take the silver. I'll try and keep an eye out for silver a bit more. Silver's a good set to go for early on. It's uh, a good ratio of good to obtainable. Where was I putting chests? Oh yeah, and I wanted to buy grenades. Oh, the demo's been moved? Now that I need him? Uh... How much gold do we have? Four. I'll buy a piggy bank so we stop losing quite as much gold. But I don't really have a surface to put it on. How about here? Um, okay. Let's go... I'll put sand in here. Wait, where did I just stack that to? This is another useful function of that animation. You actually know where you put things. Um, I'm just going to trash this. And I think we're good to go.
Still got that danger sense potion active. That red slime is still hard to see. And that's a couple of random fallen stars. I think they must have been here for a while. It's prob they probably died to the lava. And yeah, I don't think fallen stars break, uh, disappear during the day in this seed. I don't suppose I can... I probably can crawl my way up this way. get some grenades. Is that silver? Yeah, it is. I should be grabbing every little piece of silver I can. We haven't found any gold or equivalent yet, I don't think. Oh, is that a way up? Totally forgot. Alright. Give me lots of grenades, please. Fantastic. Um, did I have a shortcut key for this? Hold on. Controls. FV. Mouse 5, mouse 4. I think the uh, T-Mod loader has different settings. Because I, I remember binding this mouse 4 to mana potions. Uh, well, I'm not playing mage right now, so I'm not going to worry about that. We'll have grenades in slot 5. Bombs can go up here, I guess. Uh, and we can make sticky grenades, but I'm not really interested in that. If we find some pinky, if we can get some pink slime, we can make bouncy grenades, which deal a little more damage. That's silver. Okay. Uh, I want to explore the desert more, hopefully find a conch. Probably not. Probably can't be found. And then head back over there to where we found the Mimic. Take the cactus. I guess we're beyond cactus armor since we're wearing silver chainmail. We are going higher. Water chests. What do you got? Trident. Uh, it's not that great, but it does let us move fast in border. And... nothing. Okay. What about traps down here? I see nothing. I still see nothing. That's... Ow, 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 ow. This is not very far from the demo. That's just lead. I'm not terribly interested in lead. Okay. Can I get up here? There we go. Fantastic. That's a trap. Let's get rid of the touch plate. We can't 
but without messing up the rail. Get rid of the dart trap instead. This looks weird. This looks very weird. Let's see what's up there. We got another cloud in a bottle. A duck statue. Platinum chandelier. A antlion lava. And I already opened this. So I wonder where we do get magic conch, probably just from fishing. Which we can't really do. We can find worms only when it's raining. Uh, I'm pretty sure. We can find grasshoppers uh, not very reliably, and they are terrible bait. Um, sure, let's drain this. Ow. I was going to go after that pot, but never mind. Up, up, up we go. Aziz light. Did I break that? Whoops. Let me fix it real quick. Repetitive beats. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, let's get this heart. Oh, we got more silver. Sil 13 silver bars. Just from the chests. Alright, let me make sure this is working. There's your Aziz light. There we go. Fantastic. I can't believe I forgot that. I was a bit rushed today. What's that? A chest? Let's head over there. Um, I'll just get these sticky bombs out of my inventory. Be a bit easier that way. Actually, it's not that much easier because of how sand behaves. Uh, what we can do instead is, just like in Minecraft, if we put a torch here and the sand falls onto it, it automatically gets uh, dropped. But we need some sandstone. I could block swap it, I guess. Like... No? Maybe not. Apparently I cannot sw uh, block swap where there's sand. What's that? What's that slime holding? We may never know. Inventory is full. Ouch. Uh, let me out. Let me out. Okay. Can can we get a look at that slime? Uh, it's holding some kind of ore. Could be relatively valuable. Uh oh. Let me out. Alright. Uh, I need 
need to just sort out inventory somehow. We just quick stacked to that chest. Well, that helps. What kind of ore was this? Tin. I went out of my way for tin. Uh, let's just take it. Alright, what do we have here? Uh, 25 silver bars. That, that includes what I was carrying already. And now we have two shoe spikes here. So I know we have enough for a helmet or some boots uh, made out of silver, but I don't remember exactly how much it takes. Uh, let's get rid of the rope. Wait. Get rid of the rope? That's 3,000 rope. I thought we had even more than that somewhere. Or is that all of it? Um... We keep finding rope vine. We could sell the rope though. It's not nothing. Uh, I get rid of the shurikens. Get rid of the one water leaf. Oh, don't do that actually. I'll hold it here and we'll go home. But I want to see what's over here first. Oh, we have lesser healing potions. I can't fix that where I am. Let's go back. Grab our mushrooms and improve these crappy healing potions. Sell the rest. Sell the rope. 60 silver. Not half bad. Uh, I should probably check everything that's a material and not take it for granted. This is still the same. I don't think we ever need more than one uh, pair of climbing claws, but I could be wrong. Grab what you put in the trash, indeed. Uh, water chest can go over here. I'm loving the range of quick stack as well. We also have some silver ore. We're up to 39 bars. Oh, we can finish our set. Fantastic. Uh, but I might want the light most of the time. Uh, but yeah, set bonus 3 defense. We're at 19 defense when we wear out armor. Fifteen with the mining helmet. So I think we're ready for Eye of Cthulhu, for example. But I don't know that we're going to see Eye of Cthulhu for a while. Maybe the Eye of Cthulhu is going to be much tougher, because we're not going to see it until we reach the surface. I don't really need the trident, I don't think, but I'll put it over here nonetheless. It might come in handy at some point. Uh, let's harvest our day bloom. Stuck those away. And... There's other farming I should be doing, right? There's a little bit of cactus over here. I think we've got enough cactus. We're not going to make cactus armor. I could make cactus armor now. But it's fine. We've got so much fire blossom. Feels weird to get fire blossom before day bloom, but here we are. Oh yeah, how much money do we have? Three gold. We need like 20 for pylons.
we probably could have had it already. Um, I think I've had enough of exploring the desert. Let's go to where that mimic was and see where that goes. We've actually gone higher than that point already, but I'd like to go a bit more horizontal as well. Lol. And up we go. Let's head over here, and all the way left on this rail. could start using shine potions, I guess. It's literally just glowing mushroom and day bloom. Oh my god, that knockback from the from the minecart. Uh really it's more of a problem to get more sand than it is to farm the actual potion ingredients. Oh, I should be using that food as well. The rest can be panic potions. Alright, we got a little ocean here. Water chest, nothing good. Another heart. I think we'd be more than ready for King Slime now, though. Uh, however, we don't really have a way to deal damage yet. Tattered cloth. We need eight more if we want to summon the Goblin Army. We just need six more to get max health. That's silver. Oh, we already have our silver armor. Probably doesn't matter so much anymore, but we could still use it to get a uh, better pickaxe. Taking damage just to kill it faster. I'm loving how many more light sources there are, actually. Let's use a bomb here. And a bomb here. If I can get up there.
Fantastic. Oh, that's platinum. Didn't even realize. We got 34 platinum ore. Uh, that could be 34 spelunking potions. I don't really want to blow up the rail, so let's just mine this the old-fashioned way. Uh, I guess we could summon the Eye of Cthulhu. We might have to. I ha this is the first time I've seen a dragonfly. Usually that means you've gone a certain distance on the surface. So I guess it kind of means we've gone a certain distance up. Or is it horizontal? No, it's not that far horizontal. Up, up, up we go. Now we see Demonite. That's the first time we've seen that. Oh, and another Mimic. Let's pull it somewhere we can actually fight it. Ow. Uh-oh, uh-oh, okay, 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 okay. Don't underestimate a mimic. We don't have real weapons yet. Uh, ow. Luckily we have grenades. And terrible aim. There we go. Ow! Okay, we have to time this one. Wait till it jumps and then throw the grenade. Alright, what do we got? Magic mirror? I didn't even know Mimics could drop that. I think that's new. I mean... The first magic mirror is good. Not so much the second one. Or the third or the fourth. Uh, I am making an assumption that magic mirror doesn't go into anything but the cell phone. Maybe I should double check that. Here's some more platinum. Fantastic. Uh, we need room for lead. That's even more platinum. Or is it silver? Let's uh, grab the rest of it regardless. Finding more of these lava pools up here. So we got lava down here, and then no lava, and now we're finding lava again. Oh, and salamanders. Greetings, Night Dancer. Good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Why a new run? Uh, I really wanted to check out the new... Uh, the new patch. The labor of love and the weird new seed. Whoops. Ripped bombs. Um, something is burning to death up here. Just like that. Everything, it seems like everything is immune to lava, but not the burning from lava. So this undead miner is very slowly burning to death and revealing everything under him with the flames. <gasps> That's a worm. No, don't, don't jump. No, 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 no. Ah, oh. Poor worm. And poor me for not getting more bait. Oh, no. Uh, inven 
inventory is not looking great. Neither is my health, but we're almost not burning. It's fine. Don't worry about it. That burn is brutally long? Yeah. It's, I don't think it's uh, necessarily different from normal. Um, but the contact damage from lava is gigantic. Oh, we got an infinite skeleton uh, spawning itself. Now, if only we had some AoE damage. What's that? We have 261 grenades? Can they jump up here? I think they can. Hmm. Can we toss a grenade through here? It's a little sketchy. To say the least. If I can get a block here, then they won't know how to jump out. Oh! Except for this one. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. The pot spawned a slime, which nearly trapped me. Okay, I think we're good now. Nope! 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 Bad. Wasn't there a mouse in there before? It must have... Uh... There's no mouse statue. Alright, let's take the skeleton statue out of the picture. Aziz Light! Aziz Light. And... Uh, Sol Stidka? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, what am I going to drop here? Probably the water leaf. I don't know. I could leave some stuff in this chest. Give me the money. Featherfall potion. That's very useful. Is this some special moderaria? A sandanima. Thank you very much for the sub. Three months, much appreciated. Uh, this is actually vanilla, but it is a special seed on the new version. The seed is called uh, Don't Dig Up. Um, I guess I'll put the Daybloom in here. I'll take the Platinum, leave the Boots, take the Featherfall, leave the Titan Dynamite. Uh, that'll do. And we'll leave some light to show we've been here. Okay, let's go back. And I love that quick stack. I love that we can see where things go. Harvest a couple of day bloom. Uh, and I love that the audience can see where things go because I'm not the only one who knows or has a good idea anyway. Uh, Amethyst goes in here. Featherfall can go... I think we'll put out potions that we're not using at the moment in here. That way we'll have a bit more space. Oh no! Don't kill the bunny. Don't kill the bunny. No, no, no. Bad. I think I just killed a bunny or something behind. Never mind. Uh, statues go... I keep trying to dash occasionally. Statues go in here. I haven't talked to the tax collector in the minute. One gold, 92 silver. I should have talked to the tax collector more often. 
Traveling merchant has arrived. We've got almost enough gold or possibly enough gold to make our pylons. And now he's selling three things that I want. Uh, key brand? He's selling key brand. It doesn't do as much damage as I remember. I thought it was a hard mode weapon. Did they change that? Uh, I would have to spend more than all of my gold to get these things. We'll just not worry about it this time. DPS meter is part of the cell phone, though. Ugh. I don't suppose I can sell five gold worth of stuff. How much platinum do we have? Oops, I didn't mean to turn all of it into bars. I thought this was platinum for some reason. Well, we've got 16 bars now. Or 23, actually. Uh, we could make a watch, know what time it is. I don't think knowing the time is tele terribly relevant right now. If we had pink slime, we could make a peace candle. There's armor, of course, but that's a total of 55. That's not that much. Oh, wait, no. 50, 75. We need 75 platinum for a full set, and it's just going to be a marginal increase in defense. Um, yeah, we can't really do anything with platinum at the moment. Except for make a nice pickaxe. I think we will do that. Uh, platinum pickaxe. Fantastic. What world and character difficulty are you going with? Uh, master and just normal, like, softcore character difficulty. Screens, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oh, we have, we have some silt. Uh, I guess I'll just put that here for now. And then... Sell this rope coil, or get rid of it. Just make those when we need them. Uh, also sell the topaz bunny. What was here? Bombs. Have I really run out of bombs? Well, whatever the case, let's get a pylon going. So this is cavern pylon. Uh, and now we can't open this door. Perfect. And now, once we travel up here, we'll be able to teleport back and forth. Very helpful. Can't wait to stop making this commute. As far as I thought. Oh yeah, I was going to think about summoning the Eye of Cthulhu. We'll do that after we get the pylon. Actually, yeah, no, I don't have enough lenses on me right now. Pretty short trip from this uh, this town up here. Desert pylon. Sure. I'll uh wait, that means the 
The demolitionist isn't in a place that he likes. Uh Whatever. I, apparently I don't have the 10 gold either. 9 gold 25? Mm. Mm. Alright, let's go make some money. I guess I could sell some grenade. I don't really want to do that. I don't really feel like exploring this area so much. Let's head to the left on that minecart track. What is with this knockback on the basic minecart? Not that I'm complaining. Uh, through here. Let's get a torch here so we can always see. Grab the day bloom. And it's up this way, actually. Hopefully, ow! I forgot. We need to be a bit more careful. Well, we probably have the health... I don't know if we have the health to tank a falling boulder. Probably not. But we at least don't have to worry as much about these dart traps. Use the flag on. Nothing really mu of much interest over here. I keep forgetting that pots can spawn slimes. Ouch. Let's heal up. Is that platinum? It is. Let's get it. Ow! Ow, 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 ow! Stop! Jeez. Skeletons are stronger than they look. Now we've got black slimes to deal- Nope, 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 nope. And furthermore, nope. Uh, we could maybe sell some of these spares. To get our... To get our pylon. One gold, one gold, one gold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is fine. Platinum ore goes here. Rescue the squirrels. Stack this away. Uh, I think I'll start just quick stacking these squirrels. And we'll sell them all at once later on. What is that? It's a couple of spice, uh, spiky rocks. Don't know why I didn't notice them before. Alright, so this really is the last time we make this commute. Finally. Do, 
two. And then we'll grab our lenses. Bring them over to the demon altar down here. Barry has something to show us. F? Are we effing? What? Testing. I think we're good. What's the fairy trying to show us? Let's head over around the train here. Oh, nice. Thank you. That's a dead man's chest if ever I've seen one. Okay. First of all, get rid of these. And then... One, two explosives. Three explosives. At least two dart traps. And I think we're good now. Fantastic. And now it's pylon time. Finally. Oh, that's so nice. Yes, all of that, please. Do this all day. Alright, what are we selling? Uh, explosives, dead man's sweater. Dead man's chest can go up here. I, oh, wait, we'll put it over here. With the other chests. And we'll grab some lenses. It is indeed six lenses for a suspicious looking eye. Let's go do that. Evening, sir. JP. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Can I get down here? Yeah, we can. That is a bat. That is no longer a... I think that was a bird, actually. My bad. Sorry I killed you. Let me in. Alright. Suspicious looking eye. Back to base. And let's get our buff potions. I know it's just the Eye of Cthulhu, but we shouldn't make any assumptions. Um, let's take it seriously. Featherfall potion might actually... No, I don't want to waste it. I want it for when we get to the surface. I mean, we'll probably find another one by then, but still. Uh, I should make a better bow. We can make one out of platinum, I believe. 14 range damage as opposed to 6. And we'll continue using the Jester Arrows, I think. It's about the best we can get right now. I'll just double check that that's really the case. Uh, let's see. Jester, Unholy, Hellfire, Cur Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jester's by far the best arrow we can make at the moment. Uh, annoying platinum bow? Really? Uh, I don't have enough platinum to try again. Am 
minus 23% damage. Mm. I guess we'll make a silver bow. That hurts. It's still more damage per shot than a regular sil silver bow, but it's also minus 16% speed. It still says average, but that's not very precise. Silver bow. Uh, I, I, uh, I guess we'll use the annoying platinum bow. Jeez. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay. Uh, we got 406. Let's add another 150. Uh, Jester arrows. Should probably be enough. This is the part where I regret selling the shuriken, because they pierce through the little eyes very nicely. Um, but we should be okay. Assuming we can summon the Eye of Cthulhu down here. Let's go fight it where there's plenty of space. And where the terrain isn't going to mess us up. Probably over here would be better. I'm surprised how slowly the uh, cactus is growing. Okay, about here. I have Cthulhu, 46, 41 health. I don't think vanilla used to show us the health like that. Ow. Oh yeah, the jester arrows go through. I forgot. This shouldn't be too hard. Unless there's something special and new about the boss on this seed. Ow. Considering we're back to full health already, with no potion, we're probably going to be fine. Unless we run out of ammo. I don't think that's going to happen. Terraria top? Indeed. Alright, here comes the fun part. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I got caught. Uh, running left is working pretty well. I just need to change direction sometimes. If we had more vertical mobility, we could hide it better when it starts doing this. This is the hard part now. I'm stuck. We only take like 24 damage. Should be fine. Ow. Need to go left. Oh my god, one of those small eyes actually does more damage to us, probably. It's 
swap sides. Ouch. It'd be nice if we had a dash, but obviously we need to kill the Eye of the Cthulhu for that. Oh my god. Maybe I should toss grenades when he does this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bit easier to hit him. There we go. Alright, there's our dash, I think. Beautiful. 31 melee damage, 2 defense. That is so much more damage than our other attacks right now. Uh, I think we'll swap out the shackle. And the next time we fight him is going to be a lot easier. Spartak. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, and I think Eye of Cthulhu is going to be by far the easiest way for us to make money now, right? Except we can probably only summon him a few times. Give me that gel. Alright. He got Demonite. We can make a better bow. Yeah, yeah, that's like six gold right there. And we've got a handful of better arrows. Uh, Demonite bar. Fantastic. That's a zombie. We can make Magiluminescence. We need five topaz. Uh, I think that's the second reason we have to farm a little topaz, so let's do that. After we get a better axe. Uh, let's start with War Axe of the Night, just because I feel like cutting these more easily. It's also actually a pretty decent melee weapon, uh, especially when we roll Dangerous. It auto-swings and has decent damage and knockback. And it actually, I don't think it always maintained facing one direction. Which is actually quite good at this stage of the game. We can just move backward slowly as a zombie comes at us. Alright, let's grab our topaz and make some gem coins. Now the dryad has arrived. Kill boss equals twenty dollars, or I don't think it's twenty gold, right? Quick stack. Um, I'm gonna sell this. Sell this. Sell this. Uh, sell the corrupt seeds. I can always get them when I need them. Sell this. Hold on to the shackle. Probably sell the whip. Hello, Dryad. What's this? Guide to environmental preservation. Prevents you from accidentally destroying the environment while in the inventory. As in... Prevents you from mining, for example? It's a material, too. Uh, if I had more money, I would buy that immediately to check it out. That, I, I could actually find myself finding that rather convenient sometimes. And the fact that it's a conveni uh, material suggests that it combines with, like, Guide to Critic Companionship. Uh, anyway, let's sell all of this. Not that. Not that. 
this, 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 and we still have 12 Demonite Bars. Demonite Bar, Magiluminescence is 12, we don't have the Topaz for it though. Um, but it will be nice to have a constant light source. Without using the Mining Helmet. Uh, Pickaxe requires Shadow Scale. Breaker also requires Shadow Scale, actually. Uh, we can make Light Spain, but I think I'm happy with the War Axe as a melee weapon. And Demon Bow is what I wanted. Also, Fisher of Souls. We never did use that uh, iron... Actually, I don't think I ended up making it. Uh, we never did do any fishing yet. Uh, but yeah, I'll definitely upgrade the bow. 14 range damage. Plus 5% velocity, plus 15% knockback. No actual DPS stats, but that's okay. Much better than annoying. Does this do anything new? No. Oh, Shadow Candle. Nullifies the peaceful benefits of towns. Huh. Interesting. Very interesting. Uh, we don't have enough Demonite right now to make anything. That's our new tier of metal. Alright, let's kill the eye again. Uh, I don't think we went through half of our Jester areas. And this time it'll be easier. How many more lenses do we have? We only have one. Uh, we need to kill at least five demon eyes to fight the Eye of Cthulhu again. Uh, that's unfortunate. I guess if you had one of those towns with, like, a lava moat, you could definitely nullify the peaceful effects of being in town so that you could farm whatever enemy walks in. I should move these. Put them all in their own chest. How about this one? And rare ammo, let's put it in here. Uh, how much gold do I have? 15, that's not that bad. Okay, I am curious, what does this do? Or what does it combine with? Uh, exactly as expected and nothing else. Prevents you from hurting critters and destroying the environment. Okay. I wouldn't necessarily want both at the same time consistently. Guide to Critter Companionship I ended up keeping in my inventory a lot. This would be like after I'm done digging, basically. Uh, what are we doing? Where should we go now? We killed the eye, but all we got out of it was a bow. We've got a much nicer melee weapon. Yeah, we, we've got much nicer weapons. That's not nothing. And we've got the dash. Uh, that's actually a pretty big deal. Maybe we should bridge across the lava? I'm actually curious what I'm going to find over there. Uh, let me see what this does, though. No? We can definitely... dig, still. 
Um... I wonder what accidentally destroying the environment means. Hmm. I'll put that away for the moment. Let's get... Let's actually make a rope bridge across the lava. Oh, a scorpion. That's bait. Give me the bait. We found a way to farm bait. We just need to make, preferably make a town around sand, actually. Uh, that's going to be a good way to get a supply of bait. I bet if I... If I get some grass down here. Grass seeds, dirt. I bet if we do this, we're going to get worms spawning. Which are going to give us better bait than... Uh, uh, than scorpions. But I think the scorpions can spawn more often. Oh, that's... That's dirt, actually. This would be easier and better for running across. Uh, so grass seeds here. Do we have some sand stashed away? Ooh, diamond bunny. Squirrel, rather. I'm pretty sure it only sells for 10 still. Uh, so I want it to be just off-screen, actually. The grass and or sand. So that we get uh, critters spawning there. Here's our sand. a little weird. Alright. So I'm hoping if we stand around here, especially at times when the spawn rate is high, we're going to see a bunch of uh, scorpions walking off this way. Because I remember seeing quite a lot of scorpions when we had desert towns. Uh, Fikyu Moro. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oh, Fire Blossom is blooming. Oh yeah, we can buy some... Uh, planters now. Actually, that sounds like a good way to do two birds in one stone. Let's get... A bunch of... Wow, that was more planters than I meant to buy. Okay, that's fine. Give me that fire blossom. Wait, we can plant fire blossom here. Well, it's safer to put them in planters anyway.
Oh, didn't even. S oh, okay, that's a mimic. Um, let's deal with the distractions first, and give it some grenades. How about... I'm gonna miss a lot with the bow. And the grenades just cost money. And not a whole lot with that. And that is a cloud in a bottle. I do appreciate that they've made it so that... I don't know if it's just this seed, but it's, it sounds like certain items that could be a pain to get can now be got from Mimics. Alright. So here we... Red Slime. This is not that much faster than using the... I think the flaming mace is faster, actually. Alright, let's put this. Would you move? Thank you. Uh, let's make a bridge out of blink root uh, planters. And we'll have way more space than we need to farm whatever we put here. I assume this is the start in Hellworld, indeed. Verudacula. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. This is indeed uh, the Don't Dig Up seed. Oh wait, let me compare it to the axe. The axe is definitely worse, except for knockback. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Nope, 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 nope. Uh, yeah, that's where it starts being regular underworld. Um, we don't want to go there yet. Alright. I think... What is that green? Oh, I think it's regular plants growing from the blink root. Uh, the planters. Alright, let's put some more planters here. That'll be far more than enough for whatever we're growing. Oop. Double tap is not the best input for a dash. How many seeds do we have? Lots of day bloom and one water leaf. Let's just put day bloom up here. Spicy pepper can go here. Oh, we've got fire blossom. Gotta catch them all. Fantastic. Uh, let's make a few more good he healing potions. And the bait. I don't think we have enough demonite. Yeah, we need to do the Eye of Cthulhu again. Uh, I kind of want to use a water chest. To show you this is where the fishing stuff is. All right, link root planters. 
and go in here. And what should I have in slot 10? I'm not really using that many things right now. I'll just put the wood there. Alright, where would be the best place to get demon eyes to bother us? I don't know that there really is one. We need to be in the forest. Is the main thing. Probably somewhere with lots of space. Like... Over here. If this is going to count as forest, despite that little bit of sand. It sounds like it doesn't count as a desert biome. A water candle would be nice. I could use the shadow candle back at town. Do you think demon eyes spawn down here? I don't think I've seen one there. Now that I think about it. Zombies get trapped here, so this is definitely not the best uh, place to kill a lot of enemies. I think I noticed that before. Little island. Let me up. Yeah, the flaming mace is actually a lot better than I thought it was. Compared to the uh, war axe for a weapon. The war axe hits a little harder, but way less often. Uh, I guess the 18 melee damage isn't the damage of when we fling it like this. Give me that spider web. Whoops. we get some light here? Aziz light. Fantastic. Alright, which way should we go from here? Let's go left. Give me that star. And give me a shine potion. Ooh, we got ice. Uh, let's see if we can't get a flink staff. A summon would be not insignificant at this stage. Actually, I think the flinks is probably close to the best summon that you can get in pre-hard mode. Um, they don't spa they don't spawn very often though on the snow and ice tiles. We need to find like a house. The snow area being full of lava is a little weird, I have to say. Oh, we haven't done the torch god yet. We could probably do the torch god. Uh, it might be a little tricky, but not if I set up platforms. Heart, indeed. Can I... there we go. Let's 
let's head over this way. Also, uh, uh, Frostburn arrows are easily the best early game, not difficult to farm arrows. Uh, just as arrows, we've been spamming this playthrough because it's a bit of a different scenario. You don't, you do get more damage from the Jester's arrows, but Frostburn is a really good debuff. They also light the area up in a really nice way. We're well and truly in the ice biome, looking at the spawning enemies. Uh oh, nope, nope, nope. There is a moth in front of me. Oh, that was a good hit. Uh, this might be a good spot for the axe, actually. Oh, and there's a flinx. Don't hit me. Ow. Ow. Oh, I didn't mean to kill the tree. Ow. Okay, that was... I was not expecting a flame geyser in the ice biome. Uh... Well played, game. You got me there. And we've got more spiky ice, uh, spiky slime. Not my favorite enemy. Could, could you? There we go. Uh, we have two flink fur. I think we need six, if I recall correctly. And something, oh, something over here seems to be persuading the flinxes to spawn, so I'm definitely going to stay here. No, don't go into the lava. Oh, they're not actually going... There's ice on top of where the... I guess, I guess it generates as water and then turns it into lava. It seems like the flinxes don't get knocked back as violently as they used to. They, they used to fly way back whenever they took damage. Alright, geyser. Get out of here. We have six flinks fur. Uh, I don't want to think that that's all we need and then go back and find out we need more. But I'm pretty sure that's all we need. Except we will probably be too short on platinum uh, to make the... Is it platinum that... Is it the Flink's Fur Coat that needs Platinum? Because I don't really need, like, plus one minion. I just want the Staff. I don't remember if that needs Platinum or not. Oh, there's some more down here. We've been extremely lucky with the drop rate of Flink's Fur. Unless they changed it. Normally, it is a little bit of an ordeal. Uh, I'll take the Demonite. Not that I think it'll be enough to make one more bar. Alright, don't want to break the ice. There we go. Uh, 11 flinks fur is definitely enough. Let's have a look. For the staff, we need six, and we need ten platinum bars. And it's only eight platinum bars for the rather weak, but plus one minion, um, Link's fur coat. But I don't think we'll bother with that. Especially since we're going to have to farm up platinum for this. We have six platinum bars. We need four more. It's not that much. Should I invest one platinum in a Spelunker potion? Do we have all of the other prereqs? 
We don't have moon glow, so that's not an option. Uh, it looks like we do have one more demonite bar, though. But not enough to make something. Have a geyser. We also got one shiverthorn. I guess it wasn't blooming yet, otherwise I would have the seeds. Um, alright, we need to be on the lookout for platinum. But first I think we should do the torch god, because I don't want to deal with... Mojo D, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. Uh, we are currently playing uh, the Don't Look Up seed of the new version of Terraria. Veldak, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Let's put our snow... I don't know. Let's put it here. Since we'll be using ice for arrows, maybe. Oh, don't look up, indeed. Uh, don't don't dig up. I don't know if I misspoke that. I am here as well. Michelle, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well also. Alright, so we need like... How much ore is it, actually? Uh, four ore. So we need four times four minus one. We need 15 platinum ore to get our first summon. And we do find it around this level. Don't dig up so safe from evil owls then? Uh, yes. Oh! Black scorpion, how did it get up here? I put sand here and grass so that we would get uh, scorpions and worms spawning so that we could get some bait. And I'm not sure exactly why the scorpion spawned up on this platform, but I'm not complaining. We have precious, precious little bait. Uh, because I, I think they may have sort of deliberately avoided giving us much bait because fishing could kind of break the challenge of this playthrough a little bit. Uh, everything that could normally give us bait from town we can't, uh, we can't pick up because we need a lava proof uh, bug net. Um, I love that the quick stack shows where things is, uh, things are going as well. Let's get ourselves uh, a better healing potion. I might throw... Where's that ammo chest? Here it is. I might... I should have done this before, but I'll start stocking up shuriken. They are good for some things. Alright, so we are looking for 15... I thought that was a zombie. Uh, 15 platinum ore. And... I think I'll just put on the mining helmet for this. But also the Night Owl Potion. And we're going to have to go away from our usual route somewhere. How about we go this way? Uh, so down here? Oh, gold chest. Oh, I opened this already. My inventory was full. I didn't know the yellow slimes could be carrying stars as well. Alright, let's drop a bomb here. We're not in desperate need of lead, but I'll take it. It does go to iron skin potions after all. There's a room down this way. And another. 
another star statue. Let's throw some flares out. What's up here? Nothing? Uh, that's tin. Oh, hello. Pink fairy, show me what you got. That's uh, lead, I believe. Yes. Where are we going? Uh, let's drop some bombs here. Luckily, we can't kill the fairy. A chest. If we're very lucky, it contains platinum. Oh, and we do need demon eyes, because we need to farm the Eye of Cthulhu more. Uh, I believe it's six lenses to summon the eye. Drop down this way. Fantastic. Ow. I keep forgetting pots can spawn slimes in this seed. We got a bunny statue. Silver. Oh, what a tease. It's almost the exact same color as platinum. I really wish I hadn't made that platinum bow. We got an annoying platinum bow for the boss fight. Uh, with the Eye of Cthulhu, and we used it for all of five minutes because we immediately upgraded to a Demonite bow. What is that? Oh, a dragonfly. Oh, a dragonfly. That's bait. I forgot about that. Normally, I don't think of dragonflies as bait to catch, because bait is plentiful, and there's too many different types, and they don't stack in the inventory. Uh, but yeah, we are, we will be grabbing every precious little bit of bait we can find. Okay. Uh, it seems like there's, this is a really good spot for killing demon eyes. What are we up to? One lens still? Uh, okay, I see how it is. That's lead. We're just looking for 15 platinum. That's all. Luckily we can face tank slimes at this point. I would love to have just one Spelunker potion. That would help so much. Maybe I'm not high up enough for Platinum, actually. I haven't really been paying attention in that respect. Ow. Ow. went over here, didn't I? Alright, let's head up this way then. Still got five minutes of night owl. Got a bit low on health there. That purple glow was amethyst. We're not too worried about that. Uh, I'm pretty sure the ice biome will have some platinum. And we want to go there anyway. 
Although my inventory is looking a bit harsh. I really want to come back with Silverthorn Seed. I could turn all the Fallen Stars into arrows. over here. Nothing. Oh! Uh, I think that's silver, actually. Yep, that's silver. I think we've done everything we're going to do with silver. Well, we can make silver bullets, but that's about it. I'll take the demonite. That's the only reason we need to farm the Eye of Cthulhu. I'm pretty sure this is platinum. It is indeed. That is 6 out of 16 of the platinum that we need. Uh, I don't really want to drop the Boreal Work. We'll drop this instead. That's a bat. Is that platinum? It is. Fantastic. What are we dropping now? Uh, let's just drink the Danger Sense Potion. Spot any traps. Is this platinum as well? That's a piranha. And that's a black slime. Uh, okay. About, no. There you go. I'll be taking this. Apparently I dug a little bit out of it before, I must have forgotten about it. I don't think this is platinum, it's definitely not. How much have we got? 16. That's our target. Uh, I'll take the Demonite while we're here. I'd like to get a little bit more Platinum, just in case I'm wrong about how much we need. And then we'll head back. I would much rather just kill the Eye of Cthulhu again for Demonite, but lenses are at a premium. Oh, that's a geyser down there. In the most unlikely spot. There, rather, where the black slime is. What else are we dropping? I'm not really using vine rope much anymore, and we constantly pick it up anyway, and it sells for zero. So I think that'll do. What's that blue? Sweet. I think it's a flower or something. Uh. I that's a, that's a bit of demonite. I was going to say if we can see some platinum really quick over here, I think I'll grab it. But I'll take the demonite instead. I think I just saw more platinum. Nope, that's silver, I think. Uh, I should check down this way. Oh, that's big. But uh, there's nothing here. And there's some more demonite. Uh, okay, that's annoying. Let's just go. Let's quick stack. 
and see how much demonite we have. 46 ore. Uh, okay, that's more than expected. That's like a boss kill, almost. Now we have 20 bars. We can make something. We've already got the axe and the bow. Uh, I would like to make magiluminescence. We can't make the armor yet. I, I want the Fisher of Souls. Uh, Shadow Candle. That's 11. Magiluminescence is 12. So we can have two of these at the moment. I definitely want Fisher. And if we have Topaz, which it looks like we do. Oh wow, we got nothing but gem cons back. Not going to run out of those for a minute. What's this? Nothing? What is that on the ground? It's gone now. Uh, let's sort this. We only have two Topaz still. Alright, so we're not making Magiluminescence. Let's make the candle. I kind of want to try it out. Uh, what do we need for it? Just make sure I have it. Just a torch. Shadow candle and torch. Or rather, demon... Uh, demonite bars and a torch. We need a workbench. Workbench and Ecto Mist. That means we need a graveyard biome. That means we need at least five. Uh, grave markers. Which I haven't been collecting. I've died like three times, I think. Maybe four. And I just left the... Um, I, I left the gravestones where I died. This one must have fallen into the lava. Oh, no, here it is. Oh, that's... I think that was two separate deaths. I got bumped here with a surprising amount of knockback. And all my money, most of my money fell into the lava, I think. And I just barely touched the lava and it did way more contact damage than it normally does. So it seems like we didn't get any gravestones out of that. Uh, there was one over here, I think. No, it was here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a boulder trap on top of a house, which I didn't think was a thing. Uh, so we've got one tombstone that I know of. Uh, I might have to... I might have to go diving off of some high surfaces to generate some tombstones if we want to try out this uh, candle thing. Think about that. We have three black scorpions, a single enchanted nightcrawler, and a grasshopper, if we want to go fishing. And 20% fishing pow uh, power. A total of 55% until we lose our nightcrawler. And then it just gets worse. Okay. New squirrel just dropped. Uh, let's put our statues in here. Uh, demonic mace, 11% more damage. It's barely anything. I think we'll just keep the flaming maze. I could make another one, but it's a hundred. Yeah, we can afford that. Uh, see if we get a better roll on our flaming maze. 
we do more knockback that's actually really good it's actually extremely good Uh, so let's sell the Flaming Mace. Potions that we're not using right now go here. Uh, Shiverthorn goes in here. I thought I had one. Maybe I consumed it. Still didn't get any... Uh, seeds. Oh! We got enough platinum, didn't we? Let's see. Another 16 platinum gives us another 4 bars, gives us 10 platinum, plus the flinks fur. And. Am I missing something? Workbench. That should be it. Here it is. Murderous. Plus 12% damage. That's almost as good as it gets. Uh, best is, I think, plus 19%. Maybe plus 18% on Ruthless. Damage is the only thing that matters for minions. Unless they changed something. Uh, so this little guy will just hang around indefinitely. And attack things for us. 9 summon damage while we're doing, like... 20 when we hit with our mace. Pretty good for a passive attack. Oh, we also have this dragonfly for bait. Let's uh, sort it by bait power. We got 135, a 20, three fifteens, and a 10. Okay. Uh, are we ready for the torch guard? We are if we make Plat uh, some platforms so we can run around in a circle or even actually I want to cheese it real good let's make uh, let's make a minecart track we've got plenty of iron or lead I guess uh, let's see minecart track do we need a different crafting station Minecart track anvil lead and uh, any iron and wood anvil here we go it's over here uh say 200 tiles should be more than enough where do we have the most space probably over here I wonder if, um, I'd be a bit surprised, but normally the Torch God, you have to be of a, you have to be sufficiently deep to do it, but maybe they invert the rules for this one. So we can't do it down here next to spawn. We're about to find out. Good flinks. Then uh, let's grab our minecart tracks. Oops. Uh, this is fine for a start. And then we want to go up like this. And then if we use a hammer, which I don't have, but that's easily remedied. Uh, I don't want to waste boreal wood. Ash wood, there we go. Alright, if we hammer the end of the minecart track, instead of a stoppy, we get nothing or a bouncy. And 
then we can shape the rail around it so that it'll automatically uh, turn us around. So like this. I think that's already set up right if we're going clockwise. Fantastic. And now we just have to figure out how to go up as well. Let's go all the way to the top. Lava Slime Banner, that's actually kind of handy. Let's put it here for the moment. Uh, I actually estimated the amount of uh, track that we needed pretty well. Alright, so this is going to go up here, and then we need a couple of tiles to the left like this, and then this goes up here. And hopefully, hopefully we can set it up so that, ow, jeez, that hurt a lot more than expected. I think it's already set up the way I want, except that I need to hammer it. Alright, let's try it. Nope. Hmm. It would be helpful if we could see what we're doing here. Put an acorn back there so a tree will grow back. How can we make it so that we bounce off of this and then go up? Oh, I think if I hammer this part, actually. It'll prefer to go up as opposed to down. It might be as simple as that. Oh. Do we need to go faster? Or maybe... Maybe like this? Not quite like that. Uh, that's not quite what I had in mind. Okay. Does that work, or does it have to be going a very specific speed to work? That looks like it works. Oh my god. Auto place is still as derpy as ever. a little bit annoying. Alright. One, two, three, four. Why don't I just jump over here? Rari crashed on me? I guess it wants me to play more Factorio? Nasty. When did it crash? Oh, we got a Mimic. Perfect. I didn't know we could get Mimics here. Alright. And now we should be able to place rail with a bit less derp. Alright. Can we go in a circuit now? Yeah. 
Almost. That's not quite the result I was expecting, but easily fixed. Uh, let's change this, and then... Alright, that should do it. Now we just have to put a hundred torches in the background here. Or I think it's a hundred and one actually. But regardless. Let's go with a hundred tiles of this. Now we have another Lava Slime banner. Okay. And then we start placing torches. We don't want to place them all just yet. I think we need like one or two more. And we need to be ready when that does happen. This is actually a pretty good farm. Well, we're not making money that fast, but we're definitely getting gel. which eventually becomes flamethrower ammo, but I think, I don't think there's a pre-hard mode flamethrower, so it doesn't really matter. We've actually only got two torches left. I, I don't know if it'll count different types of torch, it probably will. Alright, Ashwood Wall. And torch. And here we go. Can we do this AFK? I'm not touching the controls. I think the answer is yes. Yeah, easily. <laughs> Fantastic. I like the flinks just slowly walking behind us. Okay. Watch God's favor. Unlocks an ability toggle on the left of the inventory. When enabled, normal torches change according to your biome. Cheese and the Torch God. Nice, indeed. I'm just going to leave this here. That's just disrespectful. <laughs> Uh, thank you, I think. Alright, so I'm just going to sell any biome torches that I end up with in my inventory. And we actually just got a ton of gel as well. So, no shortage of torches. Can we get some topaz now? Uh, we got one topaz. Alright, let's... Let's get all of our... Topaz gem corns. Six in total. Make some room for them. 
three, four, five, and six. Fantastic. And we still need, I think it's at least two topaz um, in order to... Oh, the Mimic only gave us another cloud in a bottle. Lovely. Uh, in order to... I think the Mimics are... They're definitely not going to give us hard mode stuff yet. Like the uh, Glove or Magic Deck or anything like that. So they're definitely tied to some kind of progression. Um, let's organize this. Whoops. Purple, blue. We'll do it in order of the tiers. I think it's like this. And why not shove this in here for now? Okay, now that we've got our flinks and we've done the Torch God, I think we'll head back over to the Ice Bio. And see what we can get. I'll keep mining Demonite whenever I see it because... I'd really like to get Magiluminescence. We'll just swap out the plant fiber, even though we'll lose like 4% damage probably. We've got the movement tech to not really need rope anymore. I could extend this rail a bit while we're at it. Till I have more pylons. This is the best we've got for travel. Can I pick up the... there we go. we go. And I should have brought the hammer because now at the end of the track I'm gonna want to to make it throw us off the edge. It's actually a really good fit. Uh, whatever. We'll just jump off. The flinks is really making things easy right now. It's very aggressive, which is good for a summon, usually. regular torches, we make ice torches, because we're in the ice biome. Is that a blooming shiverthorn? It is. We've got them. Fantastic. Uh, shiverthorn takes a while to bloom, but then it's just always blooming. Uh, oh, and there's our topaz. We don't need to farm it anymore. And there's another heart. Good finds. Let's just throw some bombs down here. Oh no, it's going to get the lava. Oh, that was close. That was... literally couldn't have been closer. Uh, 
Uh, let's use sticky bombs. And once more. Maybe I should go for double flinks for now. I'd need uh, a little bit more flinks fur, I think, which apparently isn't going to be hard to farm. Except, there we go. Uh, and more to the point, I need another something like eight platinum make the flinks fur coat. I'm not going to go too far out of my way to look for it right now. We're just going to take it when we find it. Uh, let's get a bomb right here. Oh, uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. I was looking at chat for a sec. What mod do you use to make blueprints? Uh, editor extensions, myself. That's the same thing that I'm using in my main save for... Oh, ow, 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 ow. Oh god, this is bad, this is bad. Okay, okay. We got frozen. Okay. I was this close to porting home. Oh! Well, that was unexpected. Broke through the ice by falling two tiles. And straight into the lava. Oh. Bruh. How many flinks fur do we need if we want to make the... I think we've already got enough. Uh, if we want to make the coat, we need eight, so that's like two more, which may already be on the ground right where I, right where I died by dropping two tiles onto ice. Don't you hate falling through a thin layer of ice right into lava? I do. I hate it when that happens. Uh What's this? Amber Squirrel. Uh, amber is different from Topaz. I'm going to put it here. Okay. Well, that is a commute and a half to get back there. At least we get a tombstone. We, we need a few of those. So that we can make the, uh, the weird candle. I'm just going to save these things up so that we can quick stack them. And when we need uh when we need gold all of a sudden, we'll have a few gold here. Uh shiverthorn seeds. Let's drop those down here. Fantastic. And into the chest you go. Oh, we should have what we need to make Magiluminescence, I hope. I think we do. I think we have exactly what we need to make Magiluminescence. Topaz. Probably Anvil. There it is. And we didn't get any buffs on it, so unfortunately, I think I'm going to drop... Actually, the shoe spikes, we don't really need those anymore. So instead of 3% movement speed, we've got light. And I'll keep the plus 4% damage from the guide to plant fiber cordage. Okay. 
that that whoops sorry i killed you shield of cthulhu dash will absolutely murder critters if you don't have the guide to critter companionship oh wait i forgot the guide to plant fiber cordage uh, didn't work, I think, while I just had it in my inventory. So... Yeah, it's not working. Uh, it doesn't work in vanity slots, I assume. No. So I'm guessing the guide to critter companionship... It actually says while in the inventory. Oh, I don't have gold? Are you serious? I only have three gold? Alright. I guess the moment has come. Time to sell off our critters. And now we have like five gold, which I think is what we need actually. Uh, let's see, five gold. There it is. Oh, this is, combines with something different. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a different pair of books that combine. It's the, this one's not a material. This combines with the environmental preservation, and both of those work in the inventory. I would prefer it if the guide to plant fiber cordage could be combined with these. But then again, maybe not. Late game, you don't want to bother picking these up. Okay, then. Uh, I guess I'll keep does it? It doesn't even go here. Okay. Guide to Critter Companionship confirmed. Uh, there is actually a combat reason to have this because the Shield of Cthulhu uh, doubles as an the dash doubles as an attack, and if you're trying to avoid a an enemy, and you dash into a critter, uh, you might be in trouble. So, unless and until you're using a dash that doesn't attack enemies, uh, you might want to have the guide to critter companionship. I also might want to have bait. Let's go. What bait did I pick up a second ago? Uh... Oh, no, it was bunnies over here, and a scorpion over here, I think. Alright. Let's put this in here, and head back to our corpse. Gotta collect those tombstones so that we can make a graveyard biome. Now, does the loadouts... I think the loadouts would require duplicates of, like, armor. If we just want to change the accessories, for instance. Happened to my mom yesterday. Rip, mama. <laughs> F's in chat for Kodakula's mama. And away we go. I forgot to summon my flints. Luckily I'm still carrying the staff. go. Let's 
Let's get some buffs in here. I was gonna say I might take Iron Skin and Regen, but it wasn't any minion. It wasn't any enemies that killed me. It was a single touch of lava. Where did we die? Over here. I really need ice skates for this place. Let's go around. Take the plants. And I'll take the slush. Once we find the... Uh, I can't remember what it's called. Once we find the machine what converts slush into other stuff, that'll be valuable. Alright. Uh, if I'm not careful, I won't just die, but we'll lose our precious loot here as well. Including the gravestone marker. Demonite, fantastic. Bats, not so fantastic. Uh, I want this demonite as well. And I'm just terrified of this lava now. But I want to land on that demonite so that we can harvest it. There we go. I'm gonna wait till the lava drains though. Another enemy approaches. Alright. Give me that flinks fur. Fantastic. Let me just get past this. There we go. And we have a chest. A lizard in a bottle. Nice. Better than cloud in a bottle and you can use both if you want to. Oh, we got a compass. Not that great actually, but it does combine with things to make better things. Head up this way. That seems a lot safer. I'll take that demonite. I think we've actually got enough demonite to make everything I want for now. Now we're just missing uh, platinum so that we can make the flinks fur or use the flinks fur to make the what is it called flinks fur vest. Oh, we're not going that way. Definitely not. Uh, we can use this ice as a bridge. I'm, f I'm terrified to actually do it, but it can be done. Uh, ironically, we can toss grenades. We can we can throw grenades onto the ice, but we can't 
hit the ice with our feet for more than a tile or two away. Probably one tile. I'm pretty sure it's I'm pretty sure it's more harsh than it used to be. Okay. I've got an itchy grapple finger. We're fine. Okay then. Fantastic. Let's do it over this side as well. So we've got an easy approach. And we just need one more heart for max health. Was there always this much demonite in the ice biome? Normally I don't bother mining demonite at all, I just kill the Eye of Cthulhu more. But uh, lenses are a bit precious this run. Can we bomb the demonite if we have a good enough pickaxe? It would help if I didn't miss. Yes, we can. Fantastic. That hurts more than I thought it would. Okay. Oh, is that platinum? Uh, where is it on the map? Down here. Yes, it is. Uh, or at least some of it is. Let's see. Ow. No, no, bad, bad. Thank you, minion. Very glad I got a minion. Alright, let's use a bomb here. And how are we going to get this stuff safely? Uh, it's actually not that much platinum. There's a bunch of silver next to it. We got scammed. Ow. Uh, there is some platinum here though, I think. Oh, I think that's silver as well. Okay. Uh, I think we can probably reach it through here. And then put some lava proof wood in the way. And there we go. There's a bit more platinum there, but I don't think it's worth the time. We got a lost girl. Uh, we should be safe from her up here. Or up in the air up there, probably. Ow! I was looking at that guys, or I didn't see this one. Ravna. Uh, what am I gonna... Ooh, we got a suspicious looking eye. I didn't even notice. Uh, we don't need the ice torches. We've got infinite ice torches. Actually, they probably sell for more than the geyser. A couple of water walking potions. That would actually prevent us from dying to lava. As long as we, it doesn't, like, hit us from above. Oh no. The minion got excited. Okay. It seems like we're safe, though. Literally dealing one damage. Ow! Double slime from a pot? What does it mean? Oh, we got a metal detector. Yes, absolutely. 
Fantastic. Should we go back already? I kind of want to explore more, but we're going to have to do the inventory shuffle every two minutes. Also, I want to kill the Eye of Cthulhu again. Alright, quick stack. Shiverthorn. Uh, jagged Blizzard in a Bottle. I think while we fight the Eye of Cthulhu, we'll swap that for the Magiluminescence. Let's just reacquaint ourselves with how that works. Alright, so the first jump is the longer one. That's good. Metal detector displays the most valuable ore around you. That's actually quite good. And whoops, rip water leaf. Uh, we got nine platinum bars. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's enough for our coat, actually. Yeah, eight bars, eight flinks for... We need ten silk, which shouldn't be an issue. Uh, where are we stacking this? Thank you for telling me. Absolutely love that. And then silk. That's probably enough silk. Uh, we don't make another vest first, right? It's just... Links for Platinum Bar and probably Anvil, or probably Loom, actually. Yeah, here we go. Links for Coat. Only one defense, but we get double the minions and 5% more damage from each minion. But I don't think minions can chase the Eye of Cthulhu very well, so we won't be putting that on just yet. Uh, sell the geyser. Keep the cross. I'll put the grave markers down here so we know exactly how many we have. Oops. Alright, Eye of Cthulhu time. I think we have more than enough Jester arrows. I don't know, I might try the Flinxes. I can always swap if it looks like they're not managing to get any damage done. Also, I could probably cheese the Eye with this, but I'm not going to do that. It was just for the Torch God. Oh, they're not doing that little damage, actually. Oh yeah, it's really easy to kite the eye if you have the dash, isn't it? I wonder if the Flinxes would be good against the Eater of Wilds. I don't know if it would be worth the defense sacrifice. Just to have one more Flinx. It depends how well they damage the segments. Yeah. 
Yeah, the flinks aren't doing a whole lot of damage now. Neither am I, for that matter. Carried one shot, but got hit by the next. Yeah. It's only if you parry the last dash that that works. Oh my god, it's just chaining two of them. Ow, 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 no, stop. Bad. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Nope. Okay. Blink's actually finished him off. Uh, we've got some loot stuck in the ground down here. But I don't think I'll do that again with the Flinxes. Not against the eye. We got a better Shield of Cthulhu. I don't think it makes any difference with a mace, though. Plus melee speed. Uh, I guess I could sell it. Where's that ash that I picked up? There we go. Alright, back home we go. And we'll definitely have enough Demonite to make everything that doesn't need Shadow Scale. Thirty-six. Uh, sure, give me that. Oh, three gold. Uh, let's see. Uh, three plus ten. Yeah, we've got... I could make a yo-yo. Sixteen melee damage yo-yo. That definitely has its place. Let's do that. Melees. And we'll put that here. And this can go here. Quick stack. Magiluminescence. You know what? I don't care enough about the 4% damage. Um, I'm just going to put this away. Oh, we did buy this earlier. Uh, but I think we need the Tinkerer's Workshop to combine these. Talem Grandmaster, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Workbench. Oh, we can do it right here. Guide to Peaceful Coexistence. I still don't know what accidentally destroying the environment means. Uh, but I guess we're going to find out. Probably, maybe, shouldn't have combined it until I found out, but oh well. Alright. Oh, we got three blink root seeds. Fantastic. Um, I think I will start those over this way. And we'll put water leaf on this side as well. Alright, blink root. And when we move the water leaf, it'll be down there. Uh, sell this. Keep that. Uh, hold on to the silk. I really don't care about the melee speed. If we got defense or damage, I'd definitely be using that. 
but let's just sell this one. Traveling merchant has arrived. Where is he? Oh, he's right here. Somehow. Paint sprayer? We can actually afford. Uh, sure. Just because that combines with a bunch of other stuff. Alright, let's sell the trophy. And silk. How many things does silk go into? A lot. But do we need them for any potions or anything? I don't think so. They do go into the naughty present. Oh, they go into obsidian armor? Alright, I'll put them in with the uh, metal and stuff. Uh, and I still want a graveyard biome so that I can make that weird candle. But I'm not too fussed about it right now. Potions that we're not using this instant. Uh, where did they go? Oh, here. With the bunnies. Sell this. We're getting money a lot faster now. We've got more NPCs. Okay, 20 gold. We'll probably put that in the piggy bank. And... Work our way up towards getting a gun, I suppose? Do I want to go up through the ice biome? Probably. What is there left for me to find in the ice biome? Ice skates, snowman cannon. Oh, not snowman cannon, snowball cannon. Big difference. Uh, I think the snowball cannon might count as a gun and get the arms dealer into the picture. It's not too common to find it, but we can try. And boop. Oh, is that what it means by... Oh, I like that. Is this what it means by accidentally destroying the environment? So we can have plants growing wherever. We don't need to put them in pots for them to be safe from accidental removal. That's excellent. It also means that if we've got more than enough of them, we're not going to accidentally pick them up all the time when we're just out and about filling up our inventory. Well worth the inventory space, especially since it combines with the gra uh, guide to create... Wow, 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 wow. What was that, 180 damage? 186, I think it said. No. Okay. Ways to die very suddenly. Get frozen by a bat at the ceiling when you just stepped into lava already. Uh, how about a regen potion? That seems like a good idea right now. Broke the ice. And that's a bat that I didn't see. Let's get a Night Owl potion. And I 
think we'll go up here. way I think oh yeah let's try the yo-yo it's a bit awkward this is our bridge our bridge of ice okay Either way would do, I think. Fantastic. Does that not break? Is this also part of not accidentally destroying the environment? Huh. Wait, how do I break them deliberate with a copper pick with a pickaxe rather? Okay, cool. That's fine. That actually makes a ton of sense because pots can spawn slimes now. weapon in this situation. Uh, you know what would be even better though, is if I could squeeze my grenades through instead of having them bounce back to me. I could use sticky grenades, maybe. Let's try it. Uh, ow. Okay. A little more radius than I thought. Let's try this. And now we're just managing to toss them. I'm pretty sure my aim didn't change by a single pixel, but when we changed from sticky grenades to regular grenades, they came back. Maybe the arc is a little different. I don't suppose they can stick to monsters. They just blow up when they hit the monsters anyway. Okay. And we're through. Our flinxes aren't doing a whole lot right now. I could always fix that by... resummoning them. It'll only resummon the one of them, though. Still, to drop them right on an enemy's head, uh, it's a very effective, like, instant attack. Give me that money. Okay. How close are we getting? Relatively close the surface. Hopefully, uh, I think we have to go like this much further before we can start to see or, uh, shadow orbs. And I think as soon as we break one, we might get the goblin army invading. I don't know how ready we are for that. Probably have to cheese it a little bit as opposed to fighting it out in the open. Is that platinum? That is platinum. Is that platinum? It is. 
probably went a bit far making six stickies. Yeah, just a bit. Traveling merchant has departed. It seems like this seed gives us a lot more open area. Like, I, I haven't actually dug through a single spot necessarily to get up here uh, in the ice biome. And I really like that. I appreciate it. Ow. Bad bet. Alright, let's try not to break the ice. Fantastic. I thought that was a orb for a second there. Got excited. It is our last hut, though. Let's get in there. What is this thing that I'm next to? Oh, it's just a bit of snow. Yeah, it was just a unusual shape. Oh, I see... I see Eater of Souls. I hear corruption music. Or icy corruption music, I guess. No wait, this isn't corruption music. What am I saying? But we we have found our first Eater of Souls. With any luck we will soon have our first uh gun. There's our first shadow orb, but how do we get to it? I think we can explode it unless they've changed it. Apparently the devs don't like that people use bombs to get through this stuff. Well, that might be apocryphal. Considering they just did a huge update and they didn't change it, I think it's probably fine. Could you stop, actually? Okay, let's drop a flinks on them. And then... Sticky Bomb. And then be ready to hold them back. See what we have down here. Lava. Lava is what we have down here. Okay, that's nice. Uh, we have Deathweed. I'm really loving this this guide to peaceful coexistence. I definitely don't want to pick up the deathweed until we can get um, seeds. Abathor, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Alright. And... First gun question mark? I've never been so excited to find the corruption. I'm really enjoying this seed. Oop, that was close. Alright, big money. Give us a musket. Uh, I need a hammer, actually. Let's make one. I think a wood hammer will work. We got a musket! Yes. Alright, so next we're gonna have the arms dealer show up. Uh, the goblin army may invade now. probably go and get... Uh, well, first of all, we need to make sure there's room for the arms dealer, which there isn't. Let's go put him in the desert. 
Uh, and we'll put the nurse there with him, because that'll make him happy. Not to mention the nurse as well, uh, and he'll give us a good price. Uh, we'll also break a second shadow orb while we're here, as soon as we find one. We can break uh, two without summoning the Eater of Wilds. Though I already got what I wanted from this place. We can get a light pet. Uh, a stronger mace would be nice, especially against the Eater. And Vilethorn is also good against Eater of Wilds. But we don't have any mana yet, but it's really easy to get Fallen Stars, so we can max that out with relative ease. Oh, and you know what else is good against the Eater of Worlds? Is that Sky? I... I can scarcely believe it. it it's actually Sky. We got to the surface. I... I thought we had further to go. It feels strange... to have Sky above my head. I... I remember a line from the Foundation series where someone talks about if you grew up completely subterranean and then you came up to the surface with nothing but sky over you, it might just give you a nervous breakdown. And I can actually kind of viscerally understand it just a tiny little bit. It, in this video game, where we're totally used to starting with Sky over our heads. Uh, it feels really strange. I was killed by a falling star. That's new. <laughs> yeah, that is new. <laughs> that's... that's different. Okay then. Um, I'll keep the bow because we're using it for piercing damage. Gun, uh, should probably go, like, here. And, uh, let's go make a home for, for the arms dealer. I, I knew I was in a bit of danger there. But, like, I, I'm pretty sure I had it under control. And then I just died suddenly. And I thought, okay, how did I mess up? What just happened? And I see that I took, like, 4,000 damage. Um, yeah, we, we died to a fallen star. That's what happened. This house is missing a wall. Let's fix that. This house is missing a wall. I think by wall it might mean back wall. How much stone do we have? 1378. I might do something a little different here. Oh, I can't place it. There we go. place it wherever, but auto place isn't doing its job here. Give me more stone. Uh, 
Oops. Uh, let's see. If this is just missing a chair now. Fantastic. And this housing is suitable. Alright, let's do it down here as well. Tidy up the place a bit. We have Evan's stone block as well. is suitable. This is missing a light source chair and table. Chair. And light source. This housing is suitable. This housing is suitable. Fantastic. This is going to be our arms dealer. Oh, we have a grab potion. We have a grab potion and a feather fall. We can look for... Uh, it, it's weird that we went up there at night and the map looks like this. It's kind of spooky. Uh, but yeah, we can... Uh, we can start looking for sky islands. Use the feather fall potion... So that we don't die of fall damage. Um, but yeah. Don't know what time it is. It would be nice to know what time it is. I could... Uh, I don't really want to use up an inventory slot for it. But I could... Make a clock. Uh, can we make a clock out of wood? I'm just trying to see what what we need for a clock. Ash wood clock, iron, glass, and something. You are just an underground hostile mob. Wow. Okay. Geel jelly. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, do we really need the flare gun at this point? Probably not. I'm not really feeling the yo-yo, though. It's very... awkward. We got the arms dealer. Nice. Oh, that's already the desert pylon, though. Well, as soon as the nurse moves, we'll know it's night time. Um, let's grab some iron, or rather lead. Some glass. And some whatever. Where do we have to go to make her... Oh, we probably need a special crafting something or other. Uh, let's ask with glass, because there'll be fewer things. Glass clock. We need a glass kiln for that one. Uh, what about ashwood clock? Sawmill. Okay. I know what we need for a sawmill. We need some chains. We get 15 now for one iron. Was that always like that? I think it was like 10 before, or even 5. Uh, so sawmill is wood, iron, and chain, I think. Yeah, here it is. Wood, iron, chain. And I don't really have somewhere to put it, so we'll just shove it down here. Then we can make a clock, and whenever we are here, we will know... Uh, only what hour it is, unless we click on this. There are different tiers of 
how good a clock is. Like if you make a stopwatch out of bronze, it works like this. Not a stopwatch, if you make a pocket watch. Uh, and the gold one will show you to the minute. But I thought I remembered all of the, like, grandfather clocks showing... Uh, showing the exact time. But I guess not. Nonetheless, this is accurate enough for our purposes. Uh, we just need to know, like, when it's going to be daytime. So we don't want to go up at nighttime. I mean, we can dodge fallen stars, but it's a risk we don't need to take. Unless we're fighting a boss that only appears at night. Uh, and then it's going to be a little different. Uh, let's make some mana crystals. Painter. He didn't take... Oh, he... We already moved the nurse. It's fine. Yeah, no, that's okay. Alright, give me two more of these. Uh, we got a max mana of 80 now. And so the nurse has already moved, I think. No, she hasn't. Nevertheless, I think I'll... Move the desert pylon over here, even if we have to wait a few hours. What the? That was weird. Let's try that again. How did I, like, end up down here so quickly? Uh, on the plus side, I got a fallen star that I didn't realize was there, but what the hell? That's so strange. We can get bait here now, which is nice. All right, what are you selling? Mini shark? I need another 15 gold for that. Uh... Yeah, we won't be buying that right now. Flintlock pistol is just weaker musket, but faster firing. I don't actually like it. And... Let's put the flare gun here. Now we're going to end up with one, two, three, four types of ammo, because we're always finding wooden arrows. That's a little bit annoying, but what can you do? 900 musket balls is more than enough for now. Oh, make that 1,005. Actually, we can make even better ammo already, can't we? We've finished with silver for other purposes. So... We'll make silver bullets. Um, let's sell these. And... Probably... Sell the wooden arrows. I've only got 64 jesters left. You can actually use chain as rope if you want to. Or just for the look of it. Oops. All right. Uh, we're not buying a mini shark now, so what are we doing? Can we use this? No, nope, people aren't close enough. Mm, fine. I guess I, I lied. I will put the desert pylon back here for the moment. It's really close. How close can we put it so that this still counts? Uh, I guess it doesn't really matter because there's nowhere to fit it over here. Alright, so occasional potions go here. Actually, they should probably go in the piggy bank. Not that I have a... We haven't had a blood moon. Do Blood Moons even 
work like normal on this map? I guess that biome wouldn't spawn zombies anyway. Um, but yeah, occasional potions will go in here. Uh, I think we will take the blood zombie statue and find a place to spawn these guys. We'll get the flinxes to kill them. We just have to make a little exploity hole. First of all, I have to find some ready placed wire. And then we have to build around it. Might be a good opportunity to pick up the tombstone from before as well. Forgot to activate the touch plate again. I could make an iron minecart. Normally we've just found one randomly by now. Um, Alright, this might work. It's a little awkward. Let's go have a look over this way. I know there's a trap over here. There's the one that killed me. A while ago. It's a boulder trap. I think that'll be a good opportunity. Because we can put ourselves where the enemies can't reach us quite easily. So... Activates when a player steps on it. I think there's a red touch plate up here we can steal, actually. Nope. Oh, speaking of things we want to farm, there's our Goblin Scout. We need, I think, seven more tattered cloth. If we want to summon the... Uh, Goblin army, deliberately. Let's head up here. Uh, oh, it's raining. Um, we need to take advantage of this. Water leaf, back at home. We need to pick it up. Whoops. Anything else? We need to look for worms. Oh, there's another statue up there. So that would mean hanging around. Not the desert. But where there's grass. Ah, jeez, what the? No, 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 bad. Oh my goodness. Uh, okay, that was sneaky. Alright, so this one will activate when uh, anything steps on it. Clear this out first. And then... We'll make sure that it's too high for monsters to jump. Whoops. And put down some statues. Wait, where does the wire go to? Over here. Alright, that's fine, I think. That's actually perfect. So then we... Ah, jeez, okay. I was going to say then we dash across this. But it activated a little bit early. They're not reactivating it. What's going on? Oh, we got stuck, even though we did dash through it. 
I guess if I dash into it from the left, Shield of Cthulhu will collide with it. I'll bounce off to the right. And we'll be safe. Fantastic. Um, surprisingly though, it's not... It's not doing a good job of getting them to... Oh, I didn't use the red touch plate, that's why. Yeah, that explains it. Okay, red pressure plate. It even works when the minions step on them. Oh, and there's the blood moon. Okay, then. Uh, but yeah, we'll come back to this. Uh, it is raining and the blood moon. So let's see if we can't find... Uh, we need we need to harvest our water leaf. Careful. Uh, I think I have to harvest this from down here. Blood zombies do appear down here. Okay. They should have a much higher chance of dropping what we need as well. And that's our water leaf seeds. That's the main thing. Don't really care about replanting them this instant. Uh, it stopped raining already. So much for getting worms. Oh well. Musket is faster than you'd think it is. Well, this is one way to go about it. But I really want to kill the blood zombies faster. Gonna get some lenses tonight as well. not what I meant to do. Okay, we're fine. Grenade. How many grenades do I have? 96. It's not too bad. No. here so we can do this again when we want to. If I don't get the shark tooth necklace and... ow. Uh, the shark tooth necklace... ow, 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 stop it. Let me in here. There's only one way in. Pretty effective knockback wise, but our DPS could be better. They're not that much better. Zombie banner? Yes. Absolutely. I should have kept that blood zombie banner. Well, we'll have another one soon enough. Ow. Oh, is that a... Nope, that's just a normal glow stick. I thought it was a shiny glow stick, the yellow one. Nope. 
get out of here. Does this work? Not really, because I can't stay that close to it. How about here? Is that going to hurt me? It is not. Okay, this spot's pretty effective, I think. Let's make a few more, and we're actually out of grenades. Never mind. But I think I know how we're cheesing it next time. If we so desire. Use the musket balls, those are cheap. Good balance of cheap and strong. It's unfortunate I didn't come back with a vile thorn. That would be incredibly good here. got no indication of time down here at all. Still haven't found either of the two items we're looking for. At least we have six lenses. Wow, that's actually pretty underwhelming. Considering how long we've been at it. I definitely should have bought more grenades at the start of the Blood Moon. a banner. That's going to help. Where did it go? Uh, where is our demon eye banner? Uh-oh. Demon eye banner. It's, it's somewhere in my inventory. Otherwise it wouldn't have given us the text. When did we get an antline mandible? Probably when the minions were killing stuff while I was building the uh, the arms dealer's home. Okay, I'm running out of space here. Do you remember that shotgun thing receipt you tried out? You said that would have been pretty nice early game. Uh, shotgun recipe early game good, as in pre-hard mode early game? Was that with Calamity? I think it was probably with Calamity. Uh-oh. Where on earth is that banner that I picked? Oh, it's in a slot that I wasn't... Because I ran out of grenades. That's why. Alright. I'm going to swap this because two is usually where I go by habit looking for like an accurate but cheap weapon. Okay. 
That was during the last run. Okay, fair enough. Uh, I think we have access to the quad shotgun if we use uh, if we make some more gravestones and put them together. Uh, it's not very good though. Speaking of not very good, I'm gonna sell the yo-yo. And the wedding dress. Uh, we've got plenty of healing potions. Rotten chunk. Oh, that's from the... yeah, yeah, yeah. Top hat. Uh, how many antline mandibles do we need for the sand gun? Ten. Ravna. So the mod list isn't up to date. Uh, no, I sort of, uh, sort of forgot, actually. It was relatively last minute that I decided to give this seed a try. I just really wanted to try it out. I think we will have to do another Blood Moon. We'll do it again tonight. Uh, what can we do with a single Deathweed? Whoops. Wrath Potion? We need Ebon Koi. We need to fish in the Corruption. That's a bit of a tall order right now. Uh, it also goes into Grav Potion. So does Feather. We don't have those. Uh, I could go looking for Sky Islands while it's still daytime. It's 6 a.m. now. Let's hurry up. Sell these. Go buy grenades. Lots and lots of grenades. Even more grenades, actually. Oh, I didn't realize I have money here as well as here. I've got 30 gold in total, which is creeping towards... Uh, mini shark, mega shark, no mini shark, and we were gonna do silver bullets. Silver bullets, nine range damage as opposed to seven. Same crit. Whatever. It's... There's no other use for silver at this point. Oh, I actually wasn't carrying more bullets. Wait, how many... How many bullets do we get from one bar of silver? 70. That's not too bad. Uh, we can also make Meteor Shot before hard mode. And that's it. Silver bullet or meteor shot. So this is the strongest bullet, damage-wise. Let's put our antline mandibles here. Deathweed goes here somewhere. Shiverthorn. We're not done planting Shiverthorn. Let's do that. We've got plenty of daybloom. to say the least. Oops. As we should, because every other potion requires Daybloom. zombie, whatever. Let's sell this. And sell the stickies. Ebonstone can go in... I don't actually have a chest for materials yet. Glass will go here. 
ammo that we're not using goes here. We've actually got more unholy arrows than jester arrows now. And get rid of those. Put the chain with the iron. Ash wood can go here. Rotten chunk is part of some pollutions, I think. It's part of battle po I could make a battle potion. I don't know how good of an idea that is right now. Monster lasagna? That's a bit expensive. Also gross. Alright, we don't really have a use for this just yet. Uh, we still haven't had a goblin invasion. Oh, and the bloody tear. I should probably have a chest for summoning items. I don't know, we'll put it next to the water chest. And then... What time is it? 11 a.m. already? Okay. Let's see if we can't get... Oh, wait, 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 wait. I almost forgot. That was close. We'll take our gravity potion. And featherfall potion. And we'll see if we can't get to the surface before nightfall. And find a floating island. Not that we're feeling the effects of not having wings that much. Uh, but combining the cloud and a balloon with a uh, cloud and a bottle with a balloon would be nice. I should really join those rails up. Oops. Oh, that's a mimic. Okay. Uh, grenade. For a second I thought I forgot to buy them. It'd be nice if my minions would hit it. As little damage as they do against something with that much armor. And we got boots. I haven't got a single thing from Mimics this playthrough uh, that I didn't already have. Hello, Utbrot. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. I'll definitely take that fallen star. Oh, is that what I think it is? The sleeping... We got the angler. I thought we would have to get to the ocean for that. And our first quest is in the corruption. I was just talking about how it's a bit much to have to go fishing in the corruption, but here we are. I don't actually have... Uh... Oops. I don't actually have fishing gear on me. So we're not doing that. It'd be nice if the multiple loadouts could include weapons. Up we go. Rip bat. Which way are we going here? Up left? Let me through. Oh, silver! Silver bullets look cool! Did they always look like this? Uh, 
Uh, I would really like to just get through here. Can we do that? With the minecart? We actually can. Probably should use a health potion. How did I get stuck like that? Phew. Yeah, the silver bullets look really nice. Oh, nope, nope, nope. There we go. Wooden arrow. I regret everything. Alright, so we can't use life crystals now. Uh, they're just for making heart lanterns at this point. As far as I know. This way. I wonder what time it is. Must be like 3 p.m. Oh, that's Tim. Tim appears when we're sufficiently high up now. That's so weird. And give me that hat. Did they change the wizard hat? 4 defense, 5% increased magic damage. Sad. It used to be like 1 defense and 15%. Complete glass cannon. But doesn't go with any sets. Now it's just kind of bland. We've only broken one shadow orb, right? Yeah, because I found the surface and I was like, whoa, the surface. And then got killed by a falling star. And it's night time. Uh, that's not good. Alright, uh, should we or should we not look for... Floating islands at night. I'm pretty sure we're going to have to fight bosses during the night, right? If we're watching out for falling stars, they shouldn't be that dangerous. I mean, dangerous, yes, but they shouldn't be that hard to avoid. And it's quite a journey to get up here. Oh... Oh, I didn't even see you. Oh, stop, 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 stop. Uh, okay, fine. I... I potioned! What the hell? I literally saw the character drink the potion. Bruh. I... I saw... I saw the blue. I saw the potion being drunk. We literally died in the moment between that gulp sound and being teleported. Okay. I see how it is. I see how it is. Alright. Let's get our blink root over here. Not over here. Let's get our blink root over here. Uh, anyway, I've actually gone over time. Let's uh, finish up for today. See who else is streaming Terraria. We got Hardcore. We've got Zenith Seed. I don't know what that's like. We could go for another stream doing a weird seed. All right, let's have a peek, make sure people can chat, things like that. Followers only chat. No, I think not. Uh, let's see. Mm, 
No one else doing weird seeds or anything? Zenith Seed, Summoner. Let's have a peek. Uh, no. Stop. Alright. Let's give this person a raid. Orpheus out. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for the stream. Take care. Thank you. Uh, we're going to drop by someone called Literally Mal. Never seen them before, but they are doing a weird seed as well. So we'll give that a try. Thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time. In a couple of days, it'll be back to oxygen not included. Uh, and then after two days of that, we're doing Factorio for the next three. And then Terraria again. Uh, but for now, do take care. Take care, uh, Geel Jelly. Thanks for hanging out. Evil Pla, thanks for stopping by. Oh, apparently Zenith Seed means the one I've been doing. Let's go. Let go. Big Pizza spent how long as? Make it back to the rest of the world.